My mission is to kill Chaos. That's all I know. When are we gonna fight Chaos? All I care about is seeing Chaos dead. Looks like Chaos has been waiting for us. Chaos. We're here to kill Chaos. What about Chaos? That Chaos doesn't exist? The Chaos Shrine. Just one. Is it true you made a deal with Chaos? Chaos exists. I knew it. I told you. And where there's a crystal, there's Chaos. Come on. Are you Chaos? You told us he made a deal with Chaos. And where? Where did this desperate urge to eradicate Chaos come from? Chaos takes hold. Me? Chaos? Chaos. This world needs chaos! And it's Saturday chaos? Like, do we even deserve this? Saturday? No, surely not. There's a mistake right now on the internet. Oh, let's play that dupe making music. Oh, there it is. Oh, welcome back, everyone. I hope everybody's having an amazing day. Let's get over the obvious. Yes, I have a Band-Aid on. Yes, I just put it on, I don't know, 10 seconds ago because my finger wouldn't stop bleeding. Because yes, I reached for a glass plate today and the glass plate slipped and then I've got a cut. It was a huge cut. Some might even call it a man cut. That's how large it is. All right. And it won't stop bleeding. Arsonist Sand says, what's this once in a lifetime event, Saturday chaos? Absolutely. Absolutely. You may get some Saturday chaos next week as I try to make up for our small vacation. It's not a boo-boo, Lunar Void. Okay. Boo-boos are small and insignificant and they can be cured with little kisses. Okay. This is, this is a life-threatening injury. The cut was this big. This is much more. This is the equivalent of a man cold, okay? But in in bleedy sense. It's not a big boo-boo either, disappointed milk, okay? Look, you need to appreciate my injuries. Definitely not a boo-boo. <laughs> Cyborg Groku. So I, I was looking at your name, first time chatter, Cyborg Cyborg Roku. And I was like, oh, that name could have two meanings now. It could be Cyborg Groku, or it could be Cyborg Roku. I like Groku because Groku is life, but you know. Arsonist Sands says Echo is a small little boo boo. No, we've gone over this. Massive cut, hemorrhaging, bleeding. It's a lot. <laughs> Oxiderp with the three months. Welcome back, Oxiderp. I appreciate you. We also had a couple new followers recently. Amelia OCE. Welcome in. Cyborg Roku. With the follow and also uh, Velicity. Also with the follow 27 minutes ago. I appreciate you. Taco. Oh, I was just dreaming about taco meat. And in... Saunders, the man, the myth, and the legend. Stuffy236 says, I lost some fingerprinting in a carrot cutting accident a few days ago. Yes, I saw flesh. Like, this is a massive, massive cut. All right. I tried to explain it as equivalent it to the man cold, which we know is a much more significant cold. We're going to call this a man cut. All right, this is, this is significant. All right, don't, don't belittle my boo-boo. <laughs> oh, did you give the Discord bot a good scolding after yesterday's stream? It worked today. I know I saw it work, but I think it just sort of turned back on because it announced yesterday's video today too. So I don't know uh, what was happening. What is that, Paw Patrol? Look, no, it's space. They're little, little planets and stuff, all right? Look, you weren't there. Let me hide my face so maybe it'll zoom or maybe it'll focus. There it goes. Yep. You weren't there. 
There was blood going everywhere. I started getting a little nauseous. Things got, things got shaky. I don't I don't know what to tell you. Can we get a shout out in the chat for one Mr. Taco, please? Queen, what are you doing here? I thought I thought you had plans today. Taco says, aren't you a marina? Well, of course. That's why I know what significant injury this is. It was touch and go. All right. It was touch and go. Roku means six in Japanese. Did I just learn some new stuff today? A lady, lady puts it correct. This could end my career as being a hand model. I mean, seriously, look at these digits. And now I'm going to have a huge scar, like a foot, foot and a half scar on my finger. <laughs> Cheers to you, Arsonist Sands. I appreciate the drink. Creeper says no work is greater than helping Echo cope with man boo boo. <laughs> I like that. Man boo boo is pretty good. It's like a normal boo boo, but this one's more significant. Is this a Sprite? Scoff. Scoff, scoff. A, try never to drink sugar on stream because it, it makes your it makes your mouth too uh I guess moist i don't i don't know the word to where you have to smack it a lot you, your mouth makes more sounds when you drink sugary drinks this is a clean and refreshing perrier for relaxing times make every day perrier time it's only a foot long if you put it into a black hole and stretch to infinity no it was huge you didn't see it okay the plate came down with razor sharpness and sliced all down my finger. It was horrible. It was horrible. A taco says it slides in and out of that koozie nicely. Yes, it does. It does. Because it's a Perrier. <laughs> You're getting one of these, taco. Oh, behave. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, baby! <laughs> yeah. Was the plate broken? Yes. The plate was broken. We Azar says you covered it with one bandage. I know, but it's a huge bandage. Don't let the the misconception of like size and distance from, from the camera confuse with how big this bandage is. Alright? It, it's massive. That's right. It's a Giga Band-Aid. <laughs> oh. Taco says my 20 ounce old English needs to get crammed in it. I don't think it'll hold. I don't think it'll hold the 20s. Well, and maybe if you took the top off. We'll make it fit. I need the triage cot. Kathora says cycle 50 of a new colony feels nice. It's that new colony smell that we all love. <laughs> Codes man says the man boo boo was so significant that Echo had stitches taken off instead of put on. <laughs> Oh, Roku just got the Rubik's Cube bed. Congrats. Queen, before I lose you, how many how many redeems do I have today? I guess two redeems. I think it's two redeems. Because we will not be redeeming until next Sunday again. Three? Oh, yeah, because we did Wednesday. Ooh, three redeems. 
Oh, speaking of which, next Sunday, as long as I'm, you know, everything goes all right on vacation, I know we'll have a much larger audience. Remember back in the, when we were doing that, I think it was Glitch subscribe-a-thon sort of thing that Twitch was hosting, uh, and we made it up to level four. And I told you I would be, as long as the backpack wasn't like too great and, you know, it was something that I'd want to wear, which it's not. Um, long story short, I finally got the prize rewards in. So next Sunday, we will be giving away a, twi a purple Twitch backpack and an anchor battery bank. Thank you, Queen, for keeping me straight. No, I'm not saying it's not good enough for, for me. I'm saying it's not my style. Are they signed? No, they're brand new. I wouldn't want to ruin it. I tell you what, I will sign them if somebody wants me to sign them. I'm not going to sign the battery bank, but I'll sign the Twitch backpack if, uh, if the person so chooses. Kevin, welcome back. I hope you and yours are uh, are doing well. You have a style regarding power banks? No, I promised that I was going to give away the power bank um, when we were doing all the subscribe stuff, but I wasn't sure which backpack and what the backpack would be like if it was to be a backpack that I would sport. Um, but it's not my style, so I definitely want to give give it back to the community. How many bristle blossoms per dupe? If you're making them into gristle berries, it is three. It is three gristle berries per dupe. Gwen, how are you doing this amazing? What is it, Saturday? It is Saturday. It's weird for me, Gwen, because I don't normally stream on Saturday. Maybe that's why I have such the honor and the privilege to say hi to you. That reminds me of Miles Morales and the Spider-Mans. What do they call Gwen's Spidey? Is it Spider-Gwen? Little chick right now would be yelling at me the fact that I don't know that. Is Gwen like Spider-Gwen? Ghost Spider. Thank you, Roku. So Roku says Ghost Spider. The Queen says Spider Gwen. Anytime, Steve. Anytime. She goes by both. Taco promised that they would wax their legs for extra life. Taco, seriously, it might be time not to have the drinks on Friday streams. <laughs> wax your legs. Oh, and Kevin was talking about waxing his legs. You guys are insane. One Kelly Clarkson and you're going to be done. Nobody does it twice. Coachman says most comics call her Spider Gwen, but I have seen and heard Ghost Spider. It makes sense because why would you give your real name in your in your secret identity? It's for the kids echo. I get that, Geeky Gamer, but it's my leg hair. I give money for the kids, not leg hair. They don't want my leg hair. <laughs> oh. How do you know, says we Azar. EMAP says charity echo. No, I'm a big believer in charity. I try to give often. Do you, ha do you not have leg hair to give? It's okay, Echo. Your heart's in the right place. I do have leg hair to give, but... I, that seems very, very painful. And you've seen the injuries I have suffered today. Look at this man boo-boo. 
okay? This is not your average man boo-boo. This is significant. It was almost a trip to the ER. Soren says, I, I shaved my legs once for a college frat pr prank. College frat prank. That's hard to say. It's so, it was so comfortable and then terrible as the hair grew back. Yeah, no. Kiri says you should try getting a bikini wax. That's fun. Why not just use the razor? You know, a little, a little shaving cream, maybe some soap. And then you, you razor it. Not like there's nothing pleasurable. No. Taco says, I'm going to hate the leg hair waxing. Still easier than having a sick kid. So I'm down for it. That makes sense, Taco. I get it. But I'm just saying, maybe get more creative. Okay. Maybe... What else could we do? You know what? For charity, I'm going to wash my car. Then you're knocking out two birds, one stone. Shaving your legs. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Think of it. It could be a hot tub stream taco, right? A hot tub stream. We get a giant taco leg sticking out of the, out of the hot tub and a slow, steady shave look at this uh-huh silky smooth <laughs> who knows yo says echo you might cry but you know who else cries this is how taco guilted me sick kids cry taco just taco is an expert expert charitable streamer he knows how to he knows how to give it to you. Echo and Taco in a guacamole tub. Oh. We would eat our our ways out of that tub. Okay? We would I love guacamole. That's one of the problems with Mexican restaurants. Because you can order the guacamole before your meal arrives. And so by the time your meal gets there, you've already eaten three days worth of food in guacamole or queso. Taco says the guacamole is healthy. It's the chips that kill you. Yeah. Fair point. <laughs> That's why I finger the guacamole. Like, <laughs> Oh, yeah, I do love some good Ooh, guac. I Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. Naz in with some pie bitties. Says, can we start talking about feet before Weazar gets too high on it? No kidding. Thank you, Naz, for the pie bitties. Chloe Cosmo says guac good. See, Chloe knows. Welcome, Chloe. Happy Saturday. It's a rare Saturday. It's We're doing something weird. Weazer says, I just like socks. Hey. Golden Creations Hawaii. What in the world did I just wake up to? I see Echo is on, so I quickly open Twitch, only to see Echo is talking about hot tub stream and shaving legs. I mean, okay, let's go. Look, I didn't bring the legs thing into it. This is because Taco and Who Knows Yo are gonna wax their legs. So then we went all into the whole waxy things, right? And I'm like, no, you know, I love the kids. I feel for the kids, but I can be more creative than say, I'm gonna wax my legs. I'll shave my legs for the kids. I will use, I'll get one of those nice lady, lady shavers or lady razors with some of that silk Shaving cream, they'll be silky smooth. <laughs> Taco, my goodness, just gifted a 12 month tier one sub to Chloe. Taco, you know what this means. 
All right, you can't come up in this humpity dumpity and start gifting out subs. I'm just gonna slam it back in your channel. Wax your eyelashes? No. How about, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pay my taxes for the kids. Gonna pay my taxes and I'm gonna do it for the kids. Taco says you give to the kids so often. I do. I appreciate it. Um, and thank you for telling everybody. But everybody now wants me to wax my legs. Do you see what you've done? <laughs> I am not going to evade my taxes for the kids. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It's not weakness, Roku. This is a this is an opportunity to expand the creative senses of our minds, right? Let's get creative with it. Not something that inflicts a large amount of pain. Remember, I'm still suffering from this injury. Okay, look at the size of this man boo boo. This is this is huge. There was a lot of blood loss. And then I got a nice a nice band-aid for it. Geeky says, I guess Taco who knows you and Echo are now waxing. I am not waxing my legs. Taco says I need to recover from the finger trauma. Exactly. Lunar Void says, get your nails professionally done as a minor goal. See? This is even better. This is even better. I will get a Manny Petty for the kids. I will do it for the kids. I will get that Manny Petty. I'll even allow them to put some of the, the clear on. The clear nail protectant. I'll do it. <laughs> oh. See, Chloe gets it for the kids. See, I... forever lost in Oz with a hundred bits. A few minutes ago, I missed this one. It says, hey, joining from work, having you in the background as I'm having a chaos deer here. Well, I appreciate you forever lost in Oz. I thank you for the hundred bits and I, I hope the work gets a little better. Delahana of Light said wax fund, hundred bits wax fund. No, we're not doing a wax fund. <laughs> Soren Euro with the one gifted Sabarunu. Thank you very much, Soren Hero, I appreciate you. And now we've started a choo-choo. Taco says, two birds, one stone. When chat waxes my legs, my wife, Nacho, gets to do it. And she very much enjoys causing me pain because I am a handful. <laughs> Creeper asks, did the nurse who gave you the big boy band-aid also give you a lollipop? No, I'm not big on the lollipops. It's too much sugar. I'll take some guac instead. Delahunt of a light with another hundred biddies. Wax train. <laughs> We're not doing a wax train. Actually, today is the, was it today? Was Wednesday the first, I'm, you know, streamer calendar, streamer math? No, today is actually the second day that I'll be working on the, uh, the plus program sort of 100. We need 100 reoccurring subs every month for three months, which we should be able to knock out of the park pretty easily. Who knows, yo, with five gifted subs. Thank you, Kevin. I appreciate you. How did... How did Kevin become Kebby? Is it just the cute pet name that Liz calls you that the community picked up on? Geeky Gamer with the 69 biddies. Oh, behave. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Chloe says, oh, gifted subs don't count. No, they do not. They do not. 
It's just the uh, the paid subs. Or I guess what they're calling them, reoccurring subs. Gilded Squid says, Kebby is Kebby because Kebby. Selbian says, so not prime. No, not prime. Ghost, 5417 in with the follow. I appreciate you. Manduin Branford in with the prime for five months. I appreciate you. The Great Goob. With the follow, welcome in. Yeah, so the for those of you wondering, Twitch is modifying their 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 plus program. It used to be you needed 350 um what they call plus points. They used to call them partner plus points, but now um affiliates are eligible too. But they dropped that down to 300. If you get 300 reoccurring subs, which is extremely difficult by the way, um because gifted subs and primes do not count. It's only the, the ones that Twitch makes the most money off of. Um, you get the 70-30 split. Because they are able to make a little bit more money, they're able to offer a bigger split. Well, they also introduced a 60-40 split for 100. But you have to get it for three months in a row. And then you unlock the split for one whole year. Yeah, no prime either. Have you seen the new prime rates as well, Chloe? You might have to get your Twitch blogging on. Now, um, in that same update, they've changed the Twitch prime payouts based on region. So, for instance, now in the U.S., if a viewer is in the U.S. in Twitch primes, the streamer will get $2.25. But I think a streamer in... or a viewer in the U.K., it's like $1.75. Brazil's like 85 cents. It's regional. Let me actually get that link in case Chloe needs it. And also, so uh, viewers, if they want to know what theirs is. So here's the original Twitch blog post. And then in that post, Here it is. So now for me, the primes represented about 13% is a little behind the curtains for you. Jarifa too with the 100 bits. Thank you very much. And here's the regional update. Taco gifting a three month tier one sub to Weird Dreams. Taco, you're doing too much. You're yesing too hard. And I'm going to come get all sorts of busy in your channel. Yeah, so the second link I posted is the the Prime Revenue Guide is what they're calling it. But it shows how much your Twitch Prime is worth to the streamer. Kevin! No one asked you, Kevin! Hey. It's not as good as the original. Roku in with a thousand bits says I have to go. Thank you, Echo. Hopefully I can make another stream soon. Thank you so much. That's a whole lot of bits. I appreciate you. I appreciate you coming by. But I hope that eventually that goes out, I guess, more in wider audiences, or maybe they do an update on the Twitch homepage, because I believe the reason why I wanted the community to know about that Prime update as far as how it impacts streamers because people see that as a benefit to their Amazon Prime, right? And then thus their Twitch Prime. Um, and if the value of said Twitch Prime lowers, that means the value of the Amazon Prime membership is reduced as well for the consumer. And considering that combined with things like the Amazon Prime Video now giving you ads. <laughs> Chloe says, yes, some people think Prime is more special than a normal sub. I can see that. I can see that, especially considering because they can only use the Prime at one channel. So it, for a streamer, it's kind of an honor, right? Like you chose one channel to use your Prime and it was me. Like that's amazing and I appreciate that. 
but they did. I hope everybody is aware the changes that Twitch made. <laughs> Taco with the clip. I haven't had any ads on Prime. Oh, no, no, no. So, so when you're subbed on Twitch, no matter how you were subbed, the, you don't get, you don't see ads. It's the Prime video, like the Amazon Prime video, like watching TV, they're slowly converting it over to where if you have a free plan, which they call it a free plan, but it was, it was free originally because of your Amazon Prime membership. Now it's, you get ads. Um, unless you want to pay an additional two ninety nine, it just started on mine a few days ago, and I had to click the yes, I'll pay two ninety nine a month. Taco says, "Can I use that clip on my channel?" That's not a good one. You can use whatever you want, Taco. Soren Hero brings up some good points. It feels free, doesn't auto renew, encourages retention on that one streamer. Pros and cons for sure with the Prime sub. Yeah, I could see that. Can we get a shout out for one Chloe Cosmos? For those of you interested in the very difficult games, like the Souls Likes. Chloe Cosmos is your go-to streamer. You'll never get to meet them in real life, though, because they live on a spaceship. Taco says, and she's a heckin' cutie. <laughs> Taco, you're going to get another one. Why didn't... Why didn't my alert work? Chat, do we still hear music in me? Please tell me. If this wavelength did it again, I am going to erupt. I can't, I can't. Like, I'll have to go over to the, um, something else. I don't know, I don't even know what. Yes, you can hear the music. Then why can't you hear? Hold on. Let me try. There's no telling. This past probably month, I have had more issues with my my Elgato sound stuff than I have in months and years. And it's such a bummer, right? Because as a streamer, the workflow matters and getting everything just right. It takes a lot of time and a lot of effort, especially considering, you know, we fancy ourselves to be a decent, you know, a decently sized and professional stream. I can hear both the music and you. Thank you, Maghart. I appreciate you. It's probably the stream deck. Let's find something. Throw me a freaking bone here. Yeah, it's just the stream deck plus. Is this going to work? Yep, that works. Yeah, it's just the plus one. Who knows? Well, we better get the stream going, right? Before more, before we have a possibility of technical issues. The goo win with a follow. I appreciate you. For those of you new to the channel, we like to do something called a roll call. And we do this roll call Yay! as a way of saying thank you for you spending your most valuable resource, which if you didn't know already is your time. And so as a way of saying and showing appreciation for you spending that time with, with me and our community, we do a roll call. All you have to do to be included in this roll call 
is say something in chat. Doesn't take any bits, doesn't take a subscriber, doesn't even take a follow. All you have to do is say hello, boop, hi, taco, guacamole. Yeah, say anything you want. Goob is in with a prime. Thank you very much, Goob. I appreciate you. You can use your favorite emoji, which should obviously be the Echo Ridge twirl and not the Chloe Cosmos twirl. All right. The Chloe Cosmos twirls, it's majestic and beautiful and serene. But let's be honest. It's not an Echo twirl. Okay. <laughs> Happy Saturday and a wonderful chaos free week to all of you starting with augustus nine aka magic pants i like that one bolt griffin burger smash burger codes man 9000 drovia 17 easy pc emap 0707 fluttered ass 98 doff 87 sliding in just in the nick of time forever lost in oz Golden Creations Hawaii, Hinola SV, Isabel 90, Jarifa 2, Julie Pixels, Kadzik, Karthora, Chloe Cosmos is here all the way from the spaceship, Kindly Boat 1, Kirio 5, Lady Anime Yuki, Lunar Void, Lili 2425, Mr. Taco! Now with more guac, Mandarin Brantford, Magheart 2009, Mini Soul Reaper, Minu Zeta, Nazgul, Viscount of the Vodlanders, Nerendil, Enzan, Oxiderp, PVG Pelvis, Queen Calero bows and curtsies, Ruben Dubes, Rob Roy 865, Signer. Smoke Beers is here. Soren Hero. Sorio Blackfeather. Level 8 Wizard. Stomp em. Stream Elements the Bot. The Gilded Squid. The Goob. The Haunted 318. The Ghost Rider. Who knows yo? We Azar. Wikipedia's. Weird Dreams. Got Creepered. And then Zen Zenia. Why is everybody spamming Weazar is the best? What if I come back from the roll call to? Live Nobel, hello. Delta Force X2. Weird Dream says, Twitter is filled with people complaining about the Elgato prompter. I've been considering the Elgato prompter. What are they complaining about, Liz? Because I have my chat as close to the, the camera as I can. So right now I'm looking at chat, but I'd love to be looking directly into the camera. That way you can see the soulful lust in my eyes. Boo, we Azar. <laughs> if we Azar would use the appropriate, the appropriate twirls, it'd be fine. But we Azar doesn't. We Azar only comes in here and Chloe twirls. That's it. Never any echo twirls, just Chloe twirls. I got chills. They're multiplying. The queen not bringing out the legit city spin. I like it. See, there we Azar goes again. Only the Chloe twirls. <laughs> I love it. We got a good stream coming at you today. Got a few hours of oxygen not included. Um, yesterday we played against the storm. And it went pretty well. Uh, I think we're gonna shelve it for a little bit. Uh, 
channels. So we have a we have an opening on the Free Play Friday. So we're going to see what we bring, not next Friday, because I don't think I'll be back in time. Uh, but we will definitely, uh, we'll bring something out new and fun. But definitely not anything that Chloe plays. Definitely not anything that, because they're too difficult, right? I would rage quit. I would throw the controller across the room. We'd be done. That, that would be it. I would go through $100 in controllers every month. Okay. I also wouldn't play anything that Kevin plays for the simple reason that my stream library is filled with good games. Kevin, Kevin only plays Car Wash Simulator, that weird duck game. Um, they, every, okay, here's how you find what's on Kevin's playlist. Go to the Steam library and sort by cheapest game. Those are all the Kevin titles. Goat Sim? Grant Theorem says, need to play some Goat Sim. That would be a Kevin title. Who knows, Joe played, says, I played Oxen Not Included last time. Yes, I know. And what happened? Not five minutes. Okay, not five minutes after you pulled that stunt in stream, I got a clip sent to me. And I'm like, what is going on? What happened? I had no context. I'm like, why is Kevin upset? So Kevin was playing Oxygen Not Included, and I don't know who it was, um, but somebody posted in, his, in their channel my absolute beginner's guide as like some, some shade. Tackle says I need to get only enshrouded. It was Mr. Rusty. That is hilarious. But then I found out that Kevin was playing it up, which makes me happy because I didn't want them to be sad. I don't like sad Kevy. I like happy Kevy. So Tackle's taco spamming the enshrouded i have been looking at enshrouded but it looks like one of those games that you have to spend a lot of time in i don't have time like i don't i don't know how to explain this to people like i try to produce as much content as i can but between the youtubes the vods the streaming he had to pee it was a good bit <laughs> Did we get, um, did we get Kevin a shout out yet? Kevin says, I have enshrouded and I have a key for Echo if he saves his legs. Look, no, we're still supposed to play the, uh, the Waterworld game. Remember, we're supposed to play the Waterworld game? Thank you, Queen, for the lurk. I hope you enjoy your day so loud stop being so loud uh where are we we're in misprints right yes yes we are not to mention you're married at 20 with two dupes absolutely absolutely dupe one is 19 years old and i just turned 26 What happened here? Oh, this is because I remember I told you I had to get rid of a bunch of mods because of those crashes. So just to make sure we're not seeing any crashes. Oh yeah, we played it. We've played Rimworld on here a few times. Uh, last stream we were working on our, our industrial sauna. It's going okay, except we have one small problem. And that's the sulfur. Sulfur melts at 115 degrees. We need solid sulfur. It's 123 in here. So we do need to get, and remember our steam turbines can only reduce the temperature down to 125. It's the lowest they'll go. 
Steel Boot 1 in what the follow. I appreciate you. So we, we're going to need to figure out a way to get the temperature down. Or we just pump. You know, that's probably the easiest way is just to pump it out. But we're going to have that problem with this every single time. So perhaps we're eventually going to set up a thing that we pump it through a debris chiller. I think this is going to be the massive debris chiller right here. I think that looks good. I need to lower those volumes just a smidge. Erebor Prince, welcome. Mini Soul Reaper, I appreciate the lurk. PVG Pelvis. Still playing with time traveling. It's, I'm, it's not time traveling. I can't help that I'm young and beautiful. Well, the sulfur is not cooling because the sulfur comes out at 165. So there is some initial heat dumping. Uh, but the salt water geyser will definitely cool. So maybe we'll leave it here temporarily and the salt water will reduce the temperature enough to where all this can solidify. But it, it, it'll just melt again. But eventually we're going to have to take all the sulfur and pump it. Pump it real good. Dun, 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 um, into our massive debris chiller. And that's going to be fun. I'm going to look forward to that. But next up, let's get our metal refineries online and our production online. That way we have some place to work. Work, 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 work. Just make sure to pump it into one kilo packets, yeah. Definitely. Uh, that's right, we were filling this up with crude oil. I turned it off at the end of the stream just so I wouldn't forget. Uh, let me put the pump in here. Just so I can get this started. Mm, do you want to do... Should we do, since we have so much room, should we do the buffer tanks on the metal refineries? Push it real good. It needs to be a sound redeem. I kind of like that. But what would it mean? Because remember, we don't do sound redeems. Just normally our sound redeems have a meaning. Zoldan says, afternoon all. How many dupes have died today? None. None dupes. Um, yeah, we'll do a buffer tank. We have plenty of oil, right? And this will definitely help it stabilize, too. Because it doesn't matter how hot it's getting. No, I said buffer tank. Boop. Boop. Are you going to tile the left side for performance, or does it not matter as much? The left side? What do you mean, tile the left side? I know we still have some gaps here. Tile the left side. I'm not sure what you mean. Beer Killer 247 in with a nine months. Says Saturday, wee! That's right. That's right. Uh, I kind of like the design of this, so I think we're just going to go like that. I think that's clean. Yeah. That's a clean look right there. Put solid tiles where neutronium gaps are. Oh, no. Um, because we may end up using this space one day. And with a 13900K and 64 gigabytes of RAM, I shouldn't have to do anything for performance reasons. <laughs> All right, so that's going in. Let's go up to the times three speed to get this party started. Uh, why are we out of power? What did I do? Oh, it's because we're flooded right now on the large power transformer. Weezer says, okay, casual flex. That's not a flex. You know what I mean? You guys bought it for me. That was all reinvestment into my business. Uh, 
Uh, we're still climbing up to the 48 dupes. We're doing okay on food, and we still have the one spawn. We might need to start getting working on the second spawn, too. Can you? Can the demolish skill be used to destroy geysers? No, it cannot, Maghart. Good question, though. Are any of these it? Slow learner? No. Shabby dresser pacifist is a maybe. Building researching? Gossman? How about building early board gourmet? Yeah, I'm kind of... A builder researcher seems kind of fun. And they got a grease monkey. Let's Yeah, let's take this Gossman. Which you know what that means. Time to get your dupe raffle ticket on. For those of you new to the channel, we have raffle tickets that we use and we spend some echoes. And you spend your echoes to buy raffle tickets. You can buy as many as you want. And then we pull a raffle ticket at random, and you get to name, for instance, in this case, the Gossman. We need to do a skills update, because we have not done one in a while. This Gossman is going to be a builder. And I also need to make sure... All right, what was Grumpy? Grumpy looks like a builder digger. Making sure all of our priorities are set correctly. And I think we can also go ahead and... Okay, we already have enabled proximity on. And... Yeah, let's do a quick skills check. Because we haven't done... Oh, I wonder if Chloe's still here. If Chloe's still here, they should see the dupe Dumpkin Pie. <laughs> <laughs> that B Dub's bot. Where is Dumpkin? There's Dumpkin. Dumpkin Pie. Just it was named by B Dub's. It was so funny. All right, so let's check the morale. What we're gonna do is look at the morale requirements, um, and see. So anybody like under ten, we know we probably have some skill points ready to spend. Like Dumpkin here can get some plumbing. Oh, and Mechatronics Engineered and finish them off. Grumpy. Grumpy is going big in the digs. And they might as well get some improved strength and also plumbing. Sapphire Iris says, no, I'm 34 points shy of my first raffle ticket. Well, just wait a minute, because the raffle's going to be going on for a little bit. But you could save those, because we're going to be doing three predictions today to where you might be able to get more echoes. All right, here's Newbie. Newbie's getting that carry. That's all Newbie is good with, is the carry. So we're probably going to go into Athletics. And plumbing. Remember, it's not, it doesn't make sense to get pyrotechnics because pyrotechnics does not give you a strength bonus. Um, so don't get pyrotechnics unless you actually need a pyrotechnics dupe. It's the same way with um, demolition, except, well, no, demolition gives you plus two to construction. So it always makes sense to get demolition. But there was another one that falls in that category. Oh, astronomy doesn't give you a science bonus. That might be what I was thinking. All right, uh, let's go down to haunted. Haunted is can get actual pyrotechnics. I wish they would update it and give us a pyrotechnics hat. This is electrical engineering hat. So I'm going to give them the plumbing hat. Absolutina! They are a Masterworks Decorator. They are also going to be a Mechatronics Engineer. And they might as well get some strength and some plumbing. But we can't give Absolutina anything else. Like, this is 17 morale requirement is strong. But since they're our only Decorator, maybe they need to wear the Decorating Hat, even though they can do other things. Does anybody know how many blast shots does it take to deal with one meteor shower? It's different every meteor shower because the meteor showers um, are random in the fact that it could have 
two meteors, or it could have ten meteors. Rockin' Raider with ten gifted subs. Thank you so much for the continued support, Rockin' Raider. You do too much. I appreciate it. Happy Saturday, by the way. Um, Adire. They are also going to be a plumbing dupe, so they can get pyrotechnics. Bergetta. Bergetta will finally... Oh, they can go grilling or cooking? We are going to need more cooks. So let me see, make sure Bergetta... Remember that we're on Bergetta. Can do cooking. Oh, yeah. We already set that up. Look at us. Forward thinking. Mm. Absolute says, arts, brains, and bronze. Absolute Tina is the complete dupe. Absolutely. Quoif, quaffed, coca, quoca. I'm always corrected on the pronunciation of coca. I think they're done. Now they can get some sustainability for the athletics boost. Cuddle Pip. First of all, you need your mechatronics engineering hat. Uh, farming? You can at least go farming one. Let me check their priorities. Where are you? Who was that? Oh no, I've already forgotten. Where are you? Cuddle Pip. My goodness. We're firing on all... Oh, I know it's missing. Oh, my goodness. Chat, why aren't you keeping me honest here? Oh, there we go. Whew, that's better. I was wondering why it was so quiet in here. All right, uh, Cuddle Pip is the ones we're looking at priorities. Cuddle Pip, Cuddle Pip. We only try to do this once per stream because I know it's a little boring, but it's stuff that you need to do. I suppose we can put plus up on farming. Eventually, they might have better morale. All right, Dark Wizard has got carry and cooking, so we'll give them some athletics training. Representative Saf. Oh, wow, they, they're going in... Heavy with the construction, too. I don't want to go demolition. That's a lot of morale requirement. Rock and Raiders says, I'm trapped at work and just saw the stream, stream notification. I hope work goes well. Uh, FRD dot... Oh, they can also do construction? I suppose we'll leave it there. We're going to need to give them the good farming hat, though. Geeky! Geeky can get some carry, absolutely. Gossman, here's the Gossman. Mm, we'll start off with the advanced research. Because it gives them, by giving them plus science, it allows, it's basically giving them quick learning. There's definitely something to be said for a strategy that you give every dupe advanced research. Um, Kirio 5. Let's go, carry. That'll be fine. Conus. We haven't touched Conus at all. Poor Conus. You are rancher farmer. Oh, and you can also do some, oh my goodness, your morale just took a tank. We might have some issues here. Let's go with a uh, farming hat. That's a 10, 11 out of 17. That may have been foolhardy. I wonder if they, they may, they haven't gone into the great hall yet today. Muted rap call is good ish. We'll go in construction there. Ringstrom. They already have demolition digging. Suppose we can go some of that action. Sorry. Sorry is getting some ranching hat. Wait, I'm sexy. Me too. 
think they're good. And then Zetalina. Uh, Zetalina can get suit wearing. All right, we're good. Magart says, if Clay would merge interests with skill-specific traits like Grease Monkey, I believe it could be a game changer for dupe selection screen. That does sound interesting. I like the idea. All right. Um, what else are we doing over here? Let's at least mop all this. What is this here? Liquid phosphorus. Ugh. We've got plenty of water. Because we're pumping everything from down here. This is got to be temporary because, you know, it's not a good system. Is that coming? Oh, so this is an issue. That's coming from this tank. We're going to have to keep an eye on this. If this tank ever goes empty, we'll have to plug it in from this. In fact, we could switch that now. Do something like this. That way we know there's always water in this tank, and that's what's going to survive us through dormancy periods and stuff. They don't need to be insulated, though. Echo, why is one side of your water storage just airflow tiles? That way, so if the water gets down to this level, carbon dioxide will sit right in here. So whenever the water level drops, the gases will be able to freely go through one side. Pump, speaking of the devil... Pumpkin of the pie. Says also it's not Sunday, Echo. Yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to invade on your turf. <laughs> Alright, uh this we gotta deconstruct all of this. We're gonna get this going in our normal place. So we can reclaim all these materials, and then we'll go back to the mega sauna in progress. All right, they have finished this. Let's get some power here. Oh, I don't have power because of... All right, it's okay. I will temporarily... Temporarily... Do some of this action. What did I make that out of? Steel? Good. Ew, no, ew, ew, David. There we go, that's better. Is that why the beard and hair look so sharp? <laughs> you know, you know. Why is my stream deck not working today? Hold on, I'm gonna try unplugging it and plugging it back in. This will never, this never does anything bad on stream. All right, uh, so now that I have that, I can get power to this thing again. Should I extend power over here? No, we don't need to, because that's just going to heat the liquid sulfur up again. Yeah, we're going on a little small vacay. Small vacay. Mm. Still vacuum, thank goodness. Zolden says, yep, he's paying to go elsewhere and use a hot tub. I don't know if there'll be hot tub. I do not know. Uh, where are we? Oh, okay, we got power to this now. So I can... I keep getting squirreled today. No, 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 no! Stop spilling oil! Oh! Oh! This is why we can't have nice things. Can we please hurry up and do this? Uh, where do you need to go in? Fill it quickly, please. All right, we got the uh, raffle. Let's get a exclamation roll 26. And then since we have to do three predictions today, we'll get one of those going as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh-oh. One, two, three, four. 
five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Mini Soul Reaper. I appreciate you. Appreciate everybody for submitting. Oh, we could have been Spider Gwen. Spider Gwen, Spider Gwen can do anything a Spider Gwen can do something. First time chatter, Don Perry wanted to roll those dice too. Uh, so we've got Mini Soul. Where's Mini? There's Goss, man. Mini Soul. Oh my goodness. It's a Dumpkin emote. Oh, that is amazing. Zoldan says, it looked like to me that, no, for me it was... You know what? It was Zoldan's role. I completely missed it. It was Zoldan's role. Sorry, Zoldan, next time. Next time, we change the, the sands of time. All right, why aren't you pumping? I thought I put a wire up to you. I, oh my goodness. I added a cheer so it was confusing. Yeah, it was one of those, like you can't change it or the monkey will not follow along. Like you changed the system and it confused me. Creeper gave me a drink 10 minutes ago, but it was in the middle of the dupe raffle, so it got lost in translation. Cheers to you, Creeper. Why is the rock song out of stock? Because I have it on a cooldown. That way people don't abuse it. <laughs> Let me see if this works now. Finally. <laughs> yeah. What's in the yeah, black baby. mysterious mug? Yeah. That is the finest Earl Grey tea. It's been over an hour? It has not been over an hour. I wouldn't think. I'll take a look at it in a minute. Let's do, uh, let me get that prediction going. Hold on. Where are you? Predictions. The prediction is up. Get your echoes in right meow. Is it going to be clothes? Is it going to be drywall? Or is it going to be something else? Right up in here. This is where we are. I just realized. Why did that not show my... I was doing this and it wasn't showing my mouse for him. Oh, because I wasn't keyed in on here. I was keyed in on over my my stream manager. Now I get it. Never fate never a pay phone. Just accept it, Echo. I know. I know. I need more oil now. Oil, oil, oil. Bring it all. arsonist with the corner tag cozy corner club came for the chaos stayed for the cookies are you opposed to buying the payphone like is this a point of honor yeah yes it is a it is now me just being stubborn let's get steel going now i'm gonna have this one do steel and the other one do everything else uh and iron because you know we want them all in the one area Shipping, a little auto sweeper action. Very nice. Which means I can also set up my storage bin. And... Refined carbon. Where are you, refined carbon? Or kiln. What can I say except you're welcome? Oh, look at that. Obi got it. Naz is going to be so mad. Maybe it was because Naz was on mobile. 
I guess we can build this out of copper since they don't overheat, right? <laughs> Look at Naz throwing a fit. <laughs> All right, so this is good here, I think. Oh, yes, this is going to be perfect. So this setup is going to be clean. So all iron ore is going to go in here. I'm going to put it on a priority of five right now, even though we're not going to keep it on a priority of five. It'll put down to a priority four. This is going to hold, what do we want? Lime, I suppose. I have one too many here. It's one too many. I suppose I can double them up. No, I don't like that. We're going to we're going to make it clean. This one is going to hold We have iron ore, we have lime. There we go and the refined carbon. Why am I why am I doing like baffling things today? I am squirreling so hard. Yeah. I don't even need this right here. So let me copy, let me copy this one here, this one here, deconstruct this one. Then I can move this over. Yeah, it's definitely a squirrely day. Definitely a little squirrel action. It's what happens when I get Saturday streams. Some of you know why. Some of you get it. Pop. And end with a pandiculate. Thank you very much. Oh, that was good. Thank you, Ed. Check out the cheese whiz. Oh my goodness, you noticed my gains. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take an automation wire and we're gonna set this system here up. And what this does whoop, is we'll enable and disable the kiln. Oh, I know what it was supposed to be. It was supposed to be coal. Oh. Well, second, first, same as the first. I'm Henry the Eighth. I am. Got to make it cleaner. Uh, I suppose this one can go right across Boop. oh my goodness Erebor Princess Skittles the bird is a Saturday alarm is sat alarm calling on the top of his cage I asked him what was up and he said chaos man you're infamous in this house now. Oh my goodness, that is amazing. All right, so this can go away. Let me do a quick, let's say 25, get this system going. Now here is where I'm gonna do the audit because I'm gonna put a, a storage bin filled with coal right here. This is gonna be set on refined carbon forever but it's going to be disabled if this storage bin is full. And by full, we're gonna say just a thousand kilos. One ton of refined carbon will be just fine. And now the auto super will do all the delivery work for us. So we don't have to worry about it. Once they get all of everything loaded, we'll then transfer everything back. Oh, I can also now put, where is it? Our rock crusher. Why can't I get one of the rock crusher skins? It feels so unfair. 
We'll put this somewhere at the beginning of the place. Yeah, maybe right here. And I will also have another bin that brings all the eggshells. So lead wires can survive in a steam chamber, asks Box Fox Merle. Yes, um, their their point of melting is 327 degrees. So they're they make a really good uh, steam turbine sort of situation. Wow, look how quickly they can get through this. Like there's not even a gap in production because of the liquid reservoir. I need to do this more often. Like, they're just steady using it. All right, now notice the refined, the kilns on refined carbon are forever, but because this smart, smart storage bin is full, the it sends out a green signal, which we flip to red, which then disables... Uh, we flip to red with a not gate, which then disables the kiln. Why don't you just use a pressure plate with a kiln instead of a smart storage bin? Because we're some. I like to have an excess of materials. I guess you could use a pressure plate, just having it sit there. But that also could result in false positives. If a dupe is running past with some materials and drops it on the pressure plate, they're gonna think that there's refined carbon there and ready when there in fact there's not. Sailor Moon says, "Oh my." OMG, the liquid reservoir. I'm going to put one in my loop right now. Yeah, this... Look out. It just stays working. It's never waiting for the coolant. That oil is up to 140. Not shabby. But all the oil in the... So all the oil in the tank is sitting at 136. Oh, it's so good. I'm probably going to get maybe three quarters of a tank. Because the more oil you put in here, um, you don't want it to be filled because then it'll jam it, jam up the works. But the more oil you put in here, the more stable those temp temperatures going to be. Because this oil is coming out at 137 and only needing to be cooling to 137. Whereas, see what I mean? Doesn't really, really matter because we have so many radiant liquid pipes and we have a good sauna, but it's still good. All right, that's 2,500. That that should be good. Now let me make our way over to the next one. Boop. Uh, can we reach up here with our big with our big boy dupe hands? Boom. Can oil turn into petroleum in the pipes? Yes, um, it could if it got to like 500 degrees or 400 and what is it? 405. Where's oil? It's somewhere close to that. Three ninety nine, I think four hundred five, because what my petroleum generators are set on. So yeah, four hundred two point eighty five is when it actually converts. Says Dex. All right, so that's gonna go in there, and then we'll get that filled up, and then we're gonna have another system over here. One, two, three, four, five. That will hold any and all of our metals. I'd really like to use this wire, but it's being a pain. So this is going to come across. Boop. Yeah, there is a chance that the lead would melt over here. Um, it's a small chance, though, because the steam is picking up all of that heat pretty quickly. Hence the cobalt sitting here. Uh, but we are going to set a sort of conveyor loader system that grabs it and sends it all around and does the hokey pokey. All right, now what do we want for these? I, we don't have many metal ores yet. Right, so we have copper... 
uh, gold amalgam, wolframite, and we'll leave the, these two unset so far. You can also set automation with these as well. Um, for instance, you could set copper order forever and then have a smart storage bin, but you'd need one metal refinery per, um, per setup. EQ says the liquid sulfur looks like you have massively dehydrated peeing dupes. <gasps> all right, all right. Oh, let's check the this over here. Ranching, tidying, yokel, ill. Well, yokel's not bad. We're at 23 dupes. Ranching, tidying? Which dupe do we want, Otto or Hassan? Let me get a poll going. New poll, auto, or uh, we'll just put dupe, whoop, auto, Hassan. I think they're both good enough to take, right? One minute, the poll's up. Sam Squatch says, good morning, chat. Good morning. Rob Roy, yes, I do need to do the blueprint. While you guys are looking at this, let's do that quick blueprint. Auto or Hassan? We raised, what is this, 90, over 100,000 echoes for the blueprint prediction. Do we have any specific dupe needs? No, that's why we're just taking good dupes. And survey says, I'm gonna listen to the sound to see if it's a rare. Nope, it's not. It's stinky. Basic aqua pants. Oh, chat, more clothes. Congratulations to the clothes pickers. Let's go check this out. Poll says auto. Yeah, I can do it. Green thumb gourmet. I can see this. Auto it is, which means it's time for another dupe raffle. Get it, get it, get it, get it. All right, so we have this one set up. Let's get these more. Uh, we only got 48,000 copper. All right, so we can probably bring it up here. How do I want to do this? Yeah, something like this. That's going to be okay. Not so far over. It doesn't make sense to bring it all the way over. So then we'll just do something like this. Oh, we're down to 35 tons already. Oh, this is so sad. We need more copper. I'm going to have to make those out of steel though. Excuse me, beep beep. And then they'll probably go into a debris chiller, but for now we can just drop them like they're hot. Why are you still mopping? Oh, you're 24.5 tons of liquid sulfur in that one bottle. Empty it. Silly dupe. Oh! Goodness, that was a lot. All right, let's recapture some of this old stuff. Whee! Uh, this is gonna go up to the top so we can effectively spread it, but we're gonna have to use, once again, the steel. Let's reclaim all of this. And pop it, drop it. Now we put iron to steel on forever now. 
How much iron do we have here? 2,300. And I'll get another, like, 99 of the iron. We're about to generate a ton of heat inside this sauna. Mini Soul Reaper said, I fell asleep. Who got the last dupe? Um, Mini Soul Reaper. That's hilarious that you're asking. Do you mean the last dupe? Where are they? Mini Soul? There's Mini Soul right there. <laughs> All right, so this is good ish. Oh, rails. All right. Now I gotta make some steel because, well, this comes out at 2269. And the melting point of steel, 2426. So it should be okay. It's gonna take a lot of steel, though. So we gotta go just just across. Probably that is safe. I think I can get closer. Just one closer. <laughs> Mini Soul Reaper says, What can I say? You have such a soothing voice. Hey, I'll take it. You can fall asleep to my YouTube videos all day long. Fall asleep to the VODs. Please fall asleep to the VODs. Let get get that four hours of watch time to increase the ad revenue over on uh, YouTube. Let's go... Uh, let's go metal ore hunting for a minute while they're finishing some of that up. That's the reason why I keep getting more dupes, because our dupe labor is not at a point where I'm happy. All right, so there's uranium. I wish copper ore was easier to see. They make it so difficult. On the overlay. Like, this is barely a color to me. <laughs> uh, I think we can go in here. Like that. There's plenty of iron on this planetoid. Oh, yeah, get all of this. Absolutely. Uh, go get this. Go get this. Nom, 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 nom. Give it to me, baby. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. We're also going to need to start on dirty brick soon. We're using up a lot of power. How are we doing on granite? That's another good point, because right now the granite is... Keeping those 100 tons. What meteors do we have here? Copper, ice, and slimy. Okay. Allie Joy with the follow. I appreciate you. Welcome. Ew. There's some right here. Can I get in there? Oh, I can. Much destruction will be had. Like this. And then we'll go through here like this. Oh, yeah. Once they finish grabbing these, I can then do... Where are you going? Chippy, come back. You're not done with your job. Hey, Rev. With the follow, I appreciate you. Thank you. Welcome. Come on, Bueller, Bueller, Bueller. Let's go find that other dupe. Uh, what was it? Everybody picked an auto, right? Yep. This auto is going to be a big old supplier. Let me get an exclamation roll 15, please. Zoldin rolled a six. All is right in the world again. One, two, three, four, five, six. It is Jarifa. 
Congrats to Rifa. And they want the dupe to be named Jari. <laughs> no, Ed, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> oh. The state of the echo economy has never been stronger. Oh, we have a snazzy suit here. It's going to go to Grumpy. I don't know where that's... Oh, probably came out of these lockers. <laughs> Naz, that is hilarious. I learned yes. <clears throat> I learned yesterday that Punkin's doors are cheaty doors, not the balanced airlocks ones. I am still devastated. I told you. She even calls them cheaty doors. <laughs> They're like the perfect door. They're just one two tile little door and it just sits there. It doesn't let air through, liquid through, nothing. Me down, we're not doing another dupe raffle right now, so I'm going to refund you on that one. Save your echoes. I thought she was joking. I know it. I know. Oxygen supplies should still be doing great. We'll probably hire one more dupe before I want to want to build the other spawn. Because right now, it's a good thing that dupes are spending a lot of time in suits because we only actually have two pipes going towards the environment, which is only enough oxygen for 20 dupes. Rockin' Raider says, mine are the three tiles that send the heat through. I think those are the balanced airlocks that uh, Naz is talking about. I don't know why Clay hasn't done something like that. An airlock? Because, let's be honest, this is... This is sort of workaroundy, right? If they would give us a building, make it an expensive building, right? Make it require an output, uh, a gas pipe output. That way we could still break it if it doesn't have enough places to go. So a gas pipe output, power, and make it cost the duplicate time. So the duplicate runs into the airlock and the doors do not open until it vacuums it out, which should be relatively quick, right? The door shuts, it vacuums it out, and then the dupe can go through. So it'll cost us dupe labor, a gas pipe, and power. That's how I would implement it if I was a dev. Raven Storm Frost, we've already did the dupe raffle, so I'm gonna refund you, save it for the next time. All right, where are we? What was I doing up here? Oh, that's right. Did how much copper did we get out of that? 42 we were up to. That's not shabby considering everything we spent here. Um, now let's see. Do we have some steel? Did you create us the steel? 11. I guess that's going to have to do. I don't want those to be because they can connect with normal. And then I want more steel ones right here. Why aren't you creating more? You have plenty of lime. Oh, speaking of which. Let's copy the settings on that. And then deconstruct. The sulfur is drowning the transformers in the sun. I know. That's why I put it down here. Um, we got to build a debris cooling system and all that sort of stuff. We've got work to do today. But this is going to be the ultimate sauna. Ultimate sauna! I want eggshells and molts. And that is going to be good there. How are we doing over here? Oh, you, you've you got it good enough. We can now separate you and we can stop doing this errand. Perfect. Whoop. And let's go what buildings. Perfect. All we do is win. <laughs> oh, Sailor Moon asked like we just went into the whole conversation about the cheaty doors because Naz was devastated when they found out. 
Um, and then Sailor Moon says, Pumpkin, you use the cheaty door? Or cheating door? Pumpkin just simply says, ah, yes. Self-sealing airlocks. Best door. 10 out of 10. Would use again. <laughs> Amelia OCE. First time chatter. Echo, I notice you don't use geotuners that often. Have you ever considered a colony where you geotune all the vents and geysers? I would. I would definitely use geotuners. It's just sometimes the juice isn't worth the squeeze. Right? That's normally my reasons. I have used them. I don't, I'm not opposed to geotuner usage. But for me, the best ones to use them on are like water. But the water requirements to Geotuna water guys are, are nuts. <laughs> this is, might be the best metal refiner. Dude. Look at, they can just continuously use it now. Chat, always put a liquid reservoir on your metal, res on your metal refineries. Then we started talking about how if we want there to be an airlock that they put into the game. That way you don't have to do this nonsense. And we devved the perfect solution. Let's get... What are we going to use? Probably copper. Let's get a quick 50 in copper. It's not going to be enough because this is all going to be a debris chiller right here. Because not only are we going to have to pump sulfur out, we're going to have to pump gas out. No, we'll probably just take it out with the steam turbines and then run it through. So I'm thinking two tile debris chillers, considering this is so long. What cooling liquids in the metal refinery? Crude oil. Oh, yes. It's so glorious. All right, now that heat's going, so let me get the rest of this copper. And how do I get this back up? Let's go, I guess over this is fine. I am not going to keep running it through. I'm just going to let it run through the sauna once. That should be good. All right, let's get... I need to figure out where the distance is on the auto sweeper. So maybe right here. Because it should come out on that tile. So I can probably get it even further over. There we go. I think that's... Oh, not cobalt. That's not going to happen. Oh, what is this? Cobalt? We have cobalt? I don't want copper if we've got cobalt. Aluminum? Where did we get all this? I thought we only had metal ores. Yeah, we've never, we don't have cobalt or aluminum. Chad, I seriously don't remember Oh, we have the aluminum volcano down here. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Oh, and we have a cobalt volcano. Look, look, you're not the boss of me, Chad. You're not my real dad. All right. You, you can't tell me what to do. Beautiful. Now, let me do my shipping a little bit more steel our steel production should shoot up here shortly right now we're at 800 so just to keep an eye on it because this is the first time we've had fully functioning like steel production sort of thing going sailor moon says you are right i am not your dad i am your your i am your mom well, well, you're my stepmom, and and you can't tell me what to do. <sighs> All right, so we have this one set. It needs power. Man, we need so much power already in this colony. Oh, this is connected here. 
How much is on that already? Oh, only 1440. That ain't bad. Beautiful. Let me take all of this out. Let me also get the our ceramic kiln going. How did I get that cobalt though? I didn't think we unearthed the cobalt volcano. We should tame that cobalt volcano. That way we get quick access to it and more power for the spine. Killer Dove says, soon you'll get sent to join us in the corner, Echo. Is the liquid reservoir cooling the liquid for the metal refinery? Not really. There is some thermal transfer about what's in a liquid reservoir, but it's not a lot. What this is more doing is, right now the crude oil in this tank is 151.4. Yet this crude oil, hold on, is actually coming out at 164, but going in at like, 152. It's still going in at 152, but if this gets hotter, it averages the temps. So right now, because there is two and a half tons worth of crude oil in the reservoir, every time a 10 kilo packet drops in, it averages with the 151. But I, where is that cobalt volcano? There's an aluminum. Oh, uh, there, you know what? There might have been cobalt around it. Oh, my goodness. Chat, where's... I can't find the cobalt volcanoes. <laughs> Has anybody seen the two cobalt volcanoes? Oh, Kathora says, that's our echo. <laughs> Look, I promise, I promise, I'm an intelligent person. I am somewhat wise. I know it, it was only two bourbons last night. It was honest, it was only two bourbons and a couple of high noons. It was, <laughs> Weazar says, are you sober right now? Oh my goodness. Oh, Echo, do you call Cocky Chick over to find things in the fridge? N no, I'm, I'm not normally like this. You do, you have to realize, you have to realize streamer brain is a real thing because half my brain is concentrating on trying to entertain you. Right, keep you entertained, keep you involved in the stream, doing all, manage all the stuff, listening for sound alerts, and then I also have to play Oxygen Not Included. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not playing Elder Scroll <laughs> or Elden Ring. <laughs> ah! Shade. <laughs> All right, let's start picking some of this up. A drink in with me down. Um, but tea would help too. Elder Scrolls Green Win. I know. I was trying to throw shade at playing like Elden Ring. Or those souls likes where you, all you're doing is mashing buttons. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I would, I would, like I said earlier in the stream, I would waste a hundred dollars a month in replacing controllers playing those games. Um, thank you, Meat Hound. I appreciate the drink. Cheers to you. I mean, it's a fair point. Two cups is not two bourbons. I, I get it. I get it. I, I'm working on it. <laughs> All right, we're going to say... What are we going to say?
Well, I guess we can say everything right now because there's sandstone and all that sort of stuff sitting here. That way we don't have to sweep it. That'll need to be swept. And now we can start picking up that cobalt. Oh, you nom 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 nom. This cobalt has been sitting here for a little bit. But as it gets fresh, oh look, it's 789 degrees. And it picks it up and it's already reduced down to like 300. Beautiful. Now, and this is causing, it spreads heat throughout the sauna, keeping all that steam nice and fresh. And we all like our fresh steam. I wonder if these melt. No, these didn't melt. This is a saltwater geyser. We can put them all the way around this. Yes. Uh, not in the. Not connected to neutronium, though. Don't want to waste by doing that. Uh, not one there. These will melt. So we're good there. Any other places we're missing temperature shift plates? I thought we already did the scan. All right, now this needs power. Because this is broken. But we're eventually going to have these spread all through here. It's going to be beautiful and nice. And how is there oil here again? To the right of the bottom auto sweeper. Oh, good call. Let's go. Uh, like this. We're already down to 28 tons of lead. We've used almost 100 tons, but here's what's glorious. We have so much more. Mmm, delicious lead. Ooh, more. Bloop. Decorating, small bladder, shabby dresser, unconstructive, no. Suit wearing, operating, rocketry. This is our first pilot. This is gonna be a perfect pilot. May is the perfect uh, material, not material science, uh, data banks. May is perfect for data banks because they got piloting and operating. Oh yeah, put your dupe raffle in. We are talking about the first pilot of the colony. Spend all your echoes. Stop just getting one raffle ticket. Buy five raffle tickets. It increases your odds. And just remember, when everybody's buying raffle tickets, it's hard for me to read chat because it's spammy. Beautiful. Can that get further away? No, it, this is as close as it, or as far away as it's gonna get. Let me move all this right here. Kiri, stop buying raffle tickets for donations to Weazar. Bad Kiri. Do all you're doing is uh what do they call it when you are making a kid bad you're reinforcing bad behavior that's all you're doing carrie you're reinforcing bad behavior for shame <laughs> oh look at this gorgeousness Now, the question is, why haven't these turned on? It's 152 in here. What did we do? What did we do? 
Oh, yeah, uh, about that. We haven't built the batteries and things. <laughs> batteries! Plumbing, plumbing, oh. I'm gonna have to bring that power, sp no, I can put the battery down here. Eventually I'll move it. Man, this stupid sulfur. You know what I'm gonna do? Until we get caught up. I know this is gonna make a mess. All right, I know. I don't care. I just don't care. I don't care! Kiri changed the name to, if I get this, we as our permission to name the dupe whatever they want. Oh, that's the highlighted message. Give us the option to buy a bundle of raffle tickets. I don't have the technical ability. That's a great idea, Dolph. Don't get me wrong. I'd love to discount bundles. But you got to realize, every time you buy a raffle ticket, it puts an entry, basically a reward request. So the reward request goes into my queue. That's how I know what to roll. You should make sure the sulfur doesn't flood your base. No, it's not going to go anywhere. Because as soon as it hits out here, it's going to turn into um, actual sulfur. There's enough environment here that it will cool down. It's going to heat up the area, no doubt. But I don't care. Yet, yeah, it, there's still no way to do... So when you buy a five-pack, for it to know... That, hey, you've got five packs going in. Whiskey! Did somebody say Texas? Welcome back. How's life, Whiskey? I mean, you don't, you don't call? You don't write? Are you a chief yet? Is that what happened? Is that why you're not showing your face? We don't talk about Texas right now, says Whiskey. <laughs> Is it like Bruno? Did Texas become like Bruno? Oh, that's funny. Get rid of all this sulfur. Oh, so annoying. In fact, I might be able to metal tile this. No, we're not going to metal tile. I'm not going to overthink it, but we're going to put batteries down here. I'll put one battery, like, right... Meow. Power. That way we can just go straight up. Or should I just put the batteries in one area and then just run the automation lines? I think that's probably smart, too. Steel batteries. Steel battery. Oh, we're up to over two tons whiskey's bought a house started fire academy very nice good stuff how long is the fire academy and where where does it look like you're going to be serving the community this time instead of the navy all right automation this one's gonna go oh we got so much cobalt all the way up like this. This one's going to go all the way up like this. Boop. Now, uh, that's silly. There we go. Now, there's two ways to do this. Because they're connected to a battery, they're only going to turn on when the batteries say they turn to turn on, right? To be expected. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, chat. I'm a fool. Why do you let me do these things? We already have the heavy watt wire all the way up here because the metal refineries. What can I say except you're welcome? All right. Uh, there we go. Get rid of all this. This nonsense. Ugh. Just take this is the problem. 
This is the exact problem with running three colonies. It's a six month thing, hybrid learning with skills days every other weekish. What area in the States? If you don't mind me asking. Uh, yeah, so now I already know that there's, like, it's right here. So the decor doesn't matter. I can just go like this. Or like this. I think it's on this side. Boop. Bingo. And bingo was his name Oh, Still in Texas. It's with my volunteer department. Very nice. So with your volunteership, are you hoping to get selected as one of the full times? I had a, uh, my father's friend, he did volunteer. Um, I th he was an EMT as well. He did volunteer EMTing and it took him like a year and a half, two years before he finally got hired. When I get out, that's the play. Whiskey, how many years are you gonna have in the Navy when you get out? Ethan99705, I appreciate the follow, welcome in. Oh, Whiskey. Dude, you're going to regret this. I promise you. They don't have any sort of early out program running right now. Probably not. Because uh, retention is so horrible. Uh, let's get an exclamation roll. Hold on, stand by. 38. My goodness. Tarifa rolled an 11. Good stuff. I don't have to count that many times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It's shallow pie. I think that's how we say that. Let's go. Boop. Shallow. Except it's with an O or a, a zero pie. Two eyes. Congrats. Ethan says, I've been watching you on YouTube for years. I'm glad to finally catch your stream. Welcome, first time chatter, Ethan. Glad to have you. Smoke Beer says, not always a bad thing just to get out. I don't feel like, I don't feel about doing 10 and just saying, yep, I am done. I don't. I don't maybe don't know about feeling I thought so whiskey says it's going to be at 12 that ain't that's not too bad I thought I thought whiskey had been in longer I was thinking whiskey was almost at 15 I'll be doing reserves to finish out 20 good good stuff All right, so we're still dumping all of this. It's fine. We just, we're not actually in a hurry now because of the battery, so maybe I should just stop. Maybe we should run some divergent bugs too. I mean, we're gonna have all the sulfur we want. Granted, this sulfur is gonna be hot sulfur. All right, so... What am I doing next? Oh, this is going on ceramic forever. Oh, you need to be set up somewhere else. Because you need sand. Uh, oh, yeah. Sand over here. Because of the rock crusher. And all the salt we're going to be getting. That's a good system. This is good. I guess we can start on the debris. Oh, no, I got to finish this. All right, so what I, I sidetracked myself in saying, right now, these batteries are going to fire these things on. This one's going to be set at, let's say, 90, 50. These are going to, this one's set on 90, 60. You know, just to tear them off. It's probably not even necessary, but it'll give us the option to. In fact, I'm going to put them both on 90, 60. So they're not gonna fire unless the batteries need power. 
But we, that's dangerous because if this place gets too hot, well, then we have an issue. We, we could burst the oil in the pipes, uh, you know, all sorts of things. So we're going to put a temperature sensor, probably a couple of temperature sensors. Maybe here? Where's the center? Center's probably here, so we're gonna have one here. And... No, it's probably it's gotta be dead center. I'll be honest, it's gotta be dead center because we have to have these connected to both. How am I gonna do that? I need two temperature sensors. One here. And one here. That works. Ed, have a good one. I appreciate you stopping by. All right. Automation. Whoop. And then bring this one down. Very nice. Now, if it's above 200, it'll also send it a green signal. So we're saying our emergency temperature to fire turn on anyways is 200 degrees. If it ever gets up to that, it, it may not. They'll turn on. Otherwise, they will wait for the batteries. Keiko J, welcome. Why two temperature sensors? Because I would need to. I wanted to keep these automations separate. See, now we have four NG's tune-upped steam turbines. Look at this, 800 watts for each of these. Why aren't you turning off? Is this not set to above? Nope, it was set to below. There we go. So now they'll just sit there until the battery says, hey, we need more power on the grid. I love these systems. It'll fire first. Um, it's got to fill these batteries to get the system going and having the battery set to whatever all these are set at. Um, those are set on 9060, so I want these set much lower because I'd rather not be producing carbon dioxide everywhere. Speaking of which, how are we doing with carbon dioxide storage? Oh, we have plenty of room. Uh, let's do another prediction. Getting it set right now. The prediction is up. I need to make sure everybody knows the other. We're not, you're not just voting on a payphone. It's any other item. Don't click above, don't click above on the second sensor. What do you mean? Oh yeah, it is, it's set. We're good. So now this entire place just became a thermal battery. Oh, glorious. Shallow pie. I'm sorry you had to suffer through the ad, but congratulations. All right, here we go. Uh, where are we now? Ah, uh, debris. Nope. Thermal aqua tuners, because we need to make sure these fellas stay cool. Utilities. I should have kept the... I can probably fill these loops with the oil here. I don't love using oil. Oil is not good. Do not use oil, chat. We're at five tons of steel. Go through the process of making something else. Don't use oil. Don't be like me. Uh, that's going to make it more complicated to bring through, so I will... Ooh. How am I going to do this? The battery is, this is not conveniently located. We're going to move it over one. This will make it a lot easier. Jarifa, with a gifted sub, this one went to Shallow Pie. That's very thoughtful for you. Very thoughtful of you, Jarifa. I appreciate it very much. Don't use nuclear waste as liquid locks either. Ew. 
Is that from experience? <laughs> Unless you want 10,000 shine bugs flying around your base. Oh, that is amazing. Tongla! First time chatter, welcome. Finally catching your stream, always watching on YouTube. I appreciate you. <laughs> oh, that is amazing. All right. I wish I was able to watch more. Um, yeah, this is fine. There we go. Perfect. Now we have enough space to be able to put our liquid pipe thermo sensor. Oh, I can even... Yeah, I can even put these in the better spot, too. They built them too fast. Are you planning to control the steam pressure? Yeah, that's another thing. Right now, we're up to 36 kilos. Um, we'll have it to where if it's above 20 kilos, start siphoning out the water and send it through the debris chiller. I always find the design of the Aqua Tuna silly. It looks like you're hanging on the wall. If you had to sit it on tiles, you would rather picture them upside down. I like that. It does seem like a hanging on the wall thing. Uh, doo, boop. There we go. Yep, and now we still have enough room. Let me get some cobalt pipes right here. Very nice. Make sure you can get skipped over. Because I don't mind bridging you there. And we'll do the same thing here. Uh, yes. And you can get skipped over. Perfect. Why are you on? But these guys aren't on. 90, 60... 90-60. Oh, they're still not synced up. Eventually, the batteries will get synced up. And so they'll turn on all at once. Another stream where we're spending the entire thing inside the sauna. I hope it's interesting for you. Oh, chat. You got 15 seconds. Get your predictions in. There's 51,000 on clothes and only 12,000 on drywall. Somebody went big on clothes. All right, here we go. And now I need to link them up. I can go like this. I can't. Why do you do this to me? Why? Why, game? And then we're going to come bring it down and up over. Oh, no, that's ugly. Stop it. There we go. And another one. Whoopies. Over. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That's wrong. Did I do it over here? No, I was just... A silly. I need a dumb emote now, too. I, too, want a dumb emote. Or a duh. I might, I might do an echo duh. There we go. And there we go. It was glorious and cute. 10 out of 10 would have Punk do that again. <laughs> oh, how, how many um, shine bug, shine buggies was it? Are we talking like literally 10,000? Because I know those numbers can get up there, but I don't know if that system works anymore. Since the change, or is that just the, the fish that they changed? Here we go. Boop. 
And then we can bring this over. Only the fish. Good stuff. <laughs> I'll bet you the computer slowed down for a second. Like, oh, drag. <laughs> because shine bugs are one of those critters that can move in eight directions. So they're even more intensive on the nav. Likely a few hundred since the frames would... Frames was not that bad. Punk just said the frames went down to like three. <laughs> At least for a minute. Oh, that's hilarious. All right, so this is good. I just need to set up the automation. Whoop. And then we'll have cooling. Now I'm just gonna do very simple. I'm gonna fill the loop just like this. If they ever finish the one insulated tile. Oh, come on. For the love of Pete. Why do they do this to me? Don't make me go into times 10 speed. I'll do it. And so over here, I can go like that. This would be smarter to do another way, by the way. Oh, let me let me be smart. Let me use smarty brains. Smarty brains, smarty brains. I'm a little lazy sometimes when it comes to oxygen not included because, well, reasons. There we go. This one's running more often, so it'll be cleaner. Yes. Oh, you want to be on what? 25 degrees? That's fine. Oh, no, we still have room. Three, two, and I'm going to stop it right there. Thank you for your contributions to the oil fund. And it's off. Now this one. Where is my duplicate labor? I have 25 dupes. 25. What's going on here? Please tell me we're not out of oxygen again. No. Oh. Maybe a little bit. Do we not have repair on? No, we do. Read fiber, 684 units. Ugh. I don't know. Uh, we're not going to be taking any more dupes until I build that next spawn. All right, let's do the prediction. I'm going to listen for the nice sound. Nope, not a good sound. Steal a sleet blue planter box. It's an other, so the others win it. But unfortunately, I think it's a duplicate. Oh, uh, buildings. Yep, of course. You couldn't give me the Wheezy Whorl planter box. Oh, uh, this one's decent quality. This one's only common. <laughs> Arsonist Sin says, I lost again. Table slam. <laughs> oh. All right. All right, this is coming along nicely. Look at all the power we're generating, too. This is massive amount of power. A maximum of 1,275 watts. Likely, it's going to sit around, what, 600 watts per. What's going on here? Oh, do we still have ice over there? Let me do a low priority sweep. So they start doing that. 
Saving the last one for tomorrow? No. Uh, we are not having a stream tomorrow. Oh, Shallow Pie. Shallow Pie, have you been lurking for a long, long time? Dupe Luxury Package Upgrade. Oh, or did they just win big? Shallow Pie just won big. Let me get... Oh. Shallow Pie. Boop. There we go. And let's go find a place for you to live to. Everybody have a roommate here? There's Chippy, Cuddle Pip, Dumpkin, B-Dubs, Grumpy. All right, these are temporary luxury hotels, luxury accommodations, uh, but we will improve these. Let's add some nice... What do we got? Where's my stuff? I can't... I haven't researched... Well, pictures yet? Echo, what are you doing? Oh my goodness. Did I forget to build Noodle a room? Did Noodle have a, um... Newbie? Did you mean to name them Nudie? Because this says newbie. <laughs> uh, did we? I didn't think so. Where's newbie been sleeping? <gasps> oh my goodness, newbie, you're gonna be sharing with um with Shallow Pie right now. Thank you, Emap, for the Ahuga. All right, so we're gonna get a nice picture up here, a pair of pictures. Or no, let's do one picture and then a plant. Doesn't that look nice? Oh, no, this two plants and a picture. All right, what's next here? Oh, uh, oh, of course I forget about it. Because of course I did. And it overwrote this. Ugh. Let's cut it off here. And then go like this. Here we go. Whoa. Simmer. Calm down, cowboy. Water tank is getting low. Don't say that. Don't say that. Why is this not pumping up the jams? Because there's no power. Why is there... Oh, because I took away its power source. Ta-da! <laughs> he can be taught! Temporary, of course. Temporary. This has 4,000, so we're not going to go through there. We'll just bulldoze through this. And then... Whoop, well, we're not using gold, though. That's for sure. Let's use some lead. Um... Yeah, we can go like that. And then I can just separate it from here. Can they get here? Yes. Good Kyle. Uh, Bolt Griffin. Good eyes. They're not pumping up the jam because it's already overinflated. We well, I need to look for that sound alert. Let's let's do some let's do some searching. Push it. Ba, ba, da, 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 da. Oh, and maybe in a, a don't. Don't. Homer. Maybe Homer. Doe. Doe! That's loud. Doe! That's a little better. Doe! Uh... Yeah, let's do that one. 
And channel points. What do we call what do we charge? 250 for the Homer Dote. Channel points, add sound button. Good. And now push it. Because we want to push it real good. Don't! <laughs> Somebody's already done it. I do need to make sure. Hurry up, Echo. Hurry up before they realize they can keep spamming it. Oh. Don't! No! Stop it! It's not alerts. Where is it? Viewer rewards. <laughs> Channel points. <Don't! laughs> Manage rewards. Homer, don't. I'll make this one 15 minutes because it's very short. There we go. I tell you what, if you'd give chat a bottle rocket in the middle of a TNT store, they would still fire that bottle rocket off each and every time. All right, then the other one. Brian, Matt, welcome back. Let me go stream alerts. Still waiting for our power to be connected by, by the way. Where is... There we go. Push it. Now, there's no way we know what these are, so warning. Push it to the limit. No. Go away. Why are we in danger? Where is the posture check? I took away the posture check. Um, it's now part of the pandiculate. Mm. I'm not gonna get... Is it short enough? I don't think I'm gonna get copyright strike. I think it's too short. Oh, shit. That one's a minute long, so that one would get copyright strike. Oh, That's shit. too long too. I want like five seconds. I'll have to do some searching on that one because now I'm, I'm curious. We have gotten away so far with the you're welcome because it's just the one line, right? Who can resist the do not press under any circumstances button? <laughs> I missed the flute too. I think the flute was too long and it was getting picked up. And copyright strikes make me sad because I have to fight them. They take a while and I lose monetization during that time frame. All right, here we go. We finally have some goodies here. They got one plant and a lamp. I'll give one here. And they only got one plant, so we're gonna do a double here. Please tell me I wasn't making it gold. Okay, there we go. Maybe a prior seed. What is it, 26 degrees here? This is fine. And a bliss burst. No, I don't mind the lawful application of copyright. Don't get me wrong. Like, I am all for people being able to protect their work. It's when the system put into place to do that is doing it wrong. We got another snazzy suit. Let me put shallow pie into it. All right, they're still picking all these things up because of course they are. Powers, uh, this one needs to be plumbed just once. The last room of the luxury packs with two cots, the light will interfere with sleeps. 
Oh, that's right. Hmm. Let me see where I can conveniently move them. Oh, and this is newbie, by the way. Newbie! Right there. What if... Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'm just gonna put a door. Swap the light in the plant? No, it'd still reach. Boop, boop. There we go. Now, now the light won't bother them. Is it the AI that is detecting copyright issues or is it the people that are sending complaints? It's the AI, it's the system. Feral Frost. Um, and that's what I'm saying, it's fair use to use a clip, right? As far as like memes and stuff like that, it's it's considered fair use. I can't remember the specific application of it, but sometimes, like I guess the the amount of time that the flute did was just too long to consider a meme or whatever. Rockin' Raider in with a pendiculate. I get that good stretch too. Oh, that was a good one. Thank you. Did you know that Conus has had the disturbed sleep debuff since the beginning of the colony? No, they haven't. I thought we made sure. And who's in here? Oh, this is new. This is um for Shallow Pie. Conus, Conus, Conus. Where's Conus? No, because it's not as significant because the the little little guy moves over so much. Right? So it'd be I guess they are getting a little bit disturbed. I mean that's a fair point. Let me let me close them in. <laughs> good good point. Good point, Enzyme. <laughs> there we go. Blueprint. Nothing. Oh, man. And this pie is pretty good. 26 with two pipes of oxygen and Atmo suits. All right, I guess not pie, pay. Um, I don't think we can nay this pay. This pay is pretty good. All right, get your uh, get your raffles in. We're taking another dupe. We're taking a pay, and I know the pays are popular. Okay, but don't don't spend all of your echoes in one place. Okay, save a little, spend a little, and you'll always have a little. A regular door? Why why did I not think of that, Hainola? That's a pretty good idea. That's genius. That is pretty that's pretty smart. What a smart cookie. Brilliant! Of course, as people run through, it will it will disturb the sleep, but it should only do it for a second, right? I don't know. Boop! Nope, not the decor. There we go. Oh, Shine Buggy, come back! Move to here, thank you. Oh, I know, you're so scared. Here's what does he, I don't understand. They're scared of the dark, right? They need light to sleep. They're always in the dark. Why aren't they scared any other time? Hmm? You suspect. Come on, Shine Buggy, get back. 
There we go. Alright, now what's next? Oh no. Oh. I forgot about the plumber. What is wrong with you, Echo? Like, seriously. Seriously wrong with you. Belt fed Joe! Welcome back. No, 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 don't go that way. Oh, stop. It's been a very chaotic day. Welcome back, Belfed. It's good to see you, Joe. All right, let me do this again because I didn't learn my lesson about watching the person while they empty all of our goodies. Only seven raffle tickets in for the pay? That is odd. Here we go. Okay, now that's going to be working. I need to get working on... We have to get working on the... What are we calling this? The debris chiller. Where is the line? The line is here. I need to be able to squeeze through. So maybe this is the debris chiller. It's this whole square. I need enough room to be able to squeeze by on this. So this should be a good. I like it. Belt fed Joe with a gifted sub. This one went to High Nola. Thank you very much, Joe. And Zahn says, my kids can play hide and seek in the dark, but can be anxious when they wake up at night. Seems legit. I, I can see that. All right. Now, this is going to be a massive debris chiller. It's probably way too excessive. In fact, let me do the cooling loop. You're going to love this cooling loop, by the way. Because it's going to tie in multiple. It's going to go right around the outside. Like this. Yeah, no, this is going to be fine. All the way around-ish. Okay, let me... I got I to gotta look at some stuff. So I'm going to have two thermal aqua tuners. Maybe... Yeah, two thermal aqua tuners. One over here, one over here. Let me separate it from there. And they will join up and meet each other. And that way they can get extra cooling before they go in the next loop sort of thing. <laughs> Phone. <laughs> I love it. Oh, that's pretty good. You should win that just based on the creativity. Now, in this thing... It's going to have rails, and I'm going to use the new system that I like. The rail's going to come in, and it's just not going to empty until it's hit that temp. It's just going to stick. Automation... Nope. Rails. Shipping. Conveyor shut off. Here we go. So... Yeah. Just like this. Oh, I need my rail thermal sensor, don't I? Do I not have that research? Nope. I, oh, no. 30 data banks. I need 30 data banks. Tell me I have 30 data banks. You might want to move the bottom one one higher. Did I mess that up? Probably. Oh, no. Oh, yep. I did. 100%. Whee! Whee! 
I'm sure I have over 30 databanks just on these volcanoes and stuff. Um, but... Oh, yeah, we have 67 databanks. Stations. And I need the virtual planetarium. Where is the virtual planetarium? Oh, planetarium. You were right there. Okay, good. We're getting it. We're getting it. So that's how that one's going to come in. Then we're going to have a pipe one. That's going to take all the sulfur out. And it's also going to stick it. Of course, it's not going to take anything to cool it down. And I will alternate it. So the rail's coming in this way. So the pipe's going to come in this way. Like this. And go all the way through. And then we'll have the sensor here. Boop. And I think I have that sensor already. Yes, liquid pipe thermal sensor right here. Ooh, no, 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 no. It'll crack in the pipes. So I'm going to have to... Yeah, it'll just going to have to do one kilo at a, set, a time. And there's no way one kilo is not going to go through. I also need a run for water. Unless... I only send one kilos through the water line and the, well, then where it was come, where would it go? I could filter out. Uh, I'm going to make this over complicated, aren't I? Every time. Every time. Make it solid first. I can't, it's too hot in here. It's too hot, but I have an idea. Because I am going to eventually have to pitch these out. And that water is going to come through here. Going to get cooled to just the right temperature. And then it's going to come out and go like this. But I will filter it. Plumbing, filter, filter. Something like this. No, it's going to be over here. This makes more sense. Okay. I got an idea. I'm working. I'm working on it. This is good. All right. Let me get an exclamation roll 16, please. Forever Lost in Oz rolls a 12. We can go 16, 15, 14, 13, 12. It is Live Noble. Boop. Congratulations, Liv. Uh, and I also need to make sure that we're keeping up with the schedules because this is way too many people on that schedule. There's Liv, there's Shallow Pie. All right, what do we got on here now? Five, so let me put Jari down here. Actually, it's not too many people because we have so many bathrooms. All right, now this, I keep getting sidetracked. We're doing so much. We're actually, we're gonna be able to crush. So if I put this here, I can then move this over here. Yep. And then this can be on Forever Samic, Ceramic. This is going to do like this. Automation. Not gate. What can I say? You're welcome. Naz finally got the you're welcome. Congratulations. What is uh, this called? Ceramic. No! Boop. 
There we go. 1,000. Did I forget the oil pipe? Oh, no! Oh. <sighs> no. I didn't. Clearly. Let me plumb this while I'm staring at it. So I just need to take one packet out of it. And just to prove it, let me set it to like below. Oh no, it's working fine. Yeah, it's good. And then you can go... Let me run a couple batches. It'll help. If you drip one kilo packets in the cooled metal output, would it solidify and keep the average temp still low? If you drip one kilo packets onto the cool metal output. So you're saying I could keep it separate and just put the put a regular metal tile here that's being chilled. Instead of making it overcomplicating and tying it in with the water system and filtering it, all that nonsense. I mean, that makes sense too, because I normally drop all the rail stuff like in a tile somewhere. And if I keep that tile cool, that sulfur should solidify pretty quickly. Why is this going through here? I mean, we have this line right here. I need more room. This is too tall. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I guess this is still a metal tile. I would think this conducts just about the same way. The heavy watt joint plate. I think so. I'm curious now. We're going to check the thermal conductivity on them. The Snow Fox. First time chatter. Welcome. Jarifa says use mechanized airlocks instead of manual airlocks. Yeah, we're just doing it for the memes right now. The um, Those are not the permanent luxury places sandstone we're not taking it i'm not even looking at the dupe hello thank you power there we go this has a thermal conductivity of 100 and a specific e capacity of 420 it's going to be the same and it requires 100 kilos whereas a metal tile Made out of cobalt. Also costs 100 kilos and has the exact same thermal conductivity. L learning new things every day. Uh, I don't care where this does, so I can just go like this. Beautiful. All right. Now, let's set up the, if there's too much pressure in here. Too many echoes in circulation, doing my part to lower echo inflation. Thank you, Crazy Tastic. You're a giver. What a giver. This is gonna go to a liquid pipe shut off. That's going to be set somewhere else. Okay. Got it! They are going to naturally go this way. And then there's going to be a shutoff. I need more room. 
right here. And if it's off, no biggie. No big deal. Otherwise, it will bypass and go around like this back into the sauna. But if it's not, it's going to come down through here and take this. Wait, which one is this? Liquid's ending over here. Yep, this is perfect. Perfect. Then take normal tile, go all the way down. You are getting separated. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. Perfection. Look at that. Yes, and if it is above, what am I going to set this to? If it is below 25 degrees, you can pass. Likewise. Where's my thing over here? Oh, we're still researching it, aren't we? good is the crafting station? What is it used for? Asks Arsonist. It is used to make uh, oxygen masks. And there are some cases that you may want to use oxygen masks instead of jumping right to suits. Especially considering it doesn't take reed fiber. I don't think oxygen masks take reed fiber. I think that's the use case is when you have to go off planet for reed fiber. Soren Hero with a drink. Thank you very much. Cheers to you. Here we go. Research. Give me my conveyor rail sensor thingy. It's like an ammo soup without the thermal production. Correct. There's no environmental production. They just breathe the oxygen. All right, so that is going to be good. Now I just need to tie this in. Automation. Boop. And then it will push the water out through here, all the way down. How am I going to get through here? I guess we're going to need a, a bridge. What else? And I don't know which direction this is going in yet. So that's the reason why I haven't done anything with it. So this will come out. Are we still waiting for a prediction? Oh, you want to do the last prediction? Yeah, let's do it. Good call. We have to get through three today. Start prediction. What's in the blueprint? And it is up. Prediction is up right here. Put your echoes in. Is it going to be closed? Is it going to be drywall or is it going to be something else? Who knows? All this water is going to go down through here. Connect. Oh, no. What do we do if this water... Uh, awkward. Okay, so here's what we do. If this place is too full... We will allow it to overflow. Okay. So if it's too full, it'll overflow. And right now, I have no idea what it's going to overflow into other than you guessed it. Give me your ears and your buffer tanks, fellow countrymen. 
Uh, those are made out of steel. That's a mistake. Just for temporaries, because we're just we're switching over to that geyser, so this thing shouldn't be too full. Another possible chaos moment? No. Definitely not. Is that too close? That is kind of too close. All this gets freed right there. There we go. I'm sure this won't backlog. And if it, if it backlogs, it won't be a big deal because it just stops the sauna from outputting and the pressure will just go up. Eventually it would stifle things, but for now it's fine. Clay! I know you're secretly watching, Clay. I doubt it. But please raise the limit of the Atmo sensor. Please. KB, have a good one. I appreciate you stopping by. All right, so that's good and sets. Good and plenty. Now let me get some thermal aqua tuners in. Get rid of that. I'll do it as far over as we can. Steel? Yes. We're at 10 tons, by the way, which is glorious. And here's what happens here. Come on, give it to me. I am not firing on all cylinders today. There's the liquid pipe thermo sensor. Here's the insulated thing. It's gonna come in. It's gonna check the temperature. It's gonna go over, up, tuck. And then come out and go right back down. And then the same exact thing over here. Liquid pipe thermo. Comes in, over, up, down. By the way, who's allergic among the dupes? We do have a couple of allergic dupes. You're guessing that's what this is? Yep. Ringstrom is the allergy-ridden one. We should probably set them up an allergy pill dispenser. Naz says, as always, Echo, for each of your clay, please, there's a mod that fixes that. I know, but I cannot use game-altering mods. You see the stuff that I take on YouTube. I could do it for like the lulls every once in a while, but not as a standard. You got 20 seconds left for the prediction. Get your echoes in. I know you respect the juice. All right, so it looks like it's the flow is gonna be going this way. So that's good there. This is good. So far, so good. I think that's good. I think we can start covering this up with cobalt. It's a little pricey. Why go up instead of down aqua tuner output? Um, because they have to, they have to go through the bridge. Otherwise it gets stuck. So if you, if you want everything bypass, this is a bypass. Remember we're using this to bypass into the bridge. So this is now the, the true output. If you didn't, if you went down out of the bridge, there'd be times where the bridge would have liquid sitting in it because the aqua tuner is running and the aqua tuner's output would take precedence over the bridge's output. Yeah, bridge below would be clean. I like that. I just I'm, I'm got this down to muscle memory. 
Ooh, I just had an idea. Do we want to make non-space materials sour gas boiler in this mega colony? That's something very few people have done. Non-space materials... No, oh, you just need magma. You just need heat. I think we have some volcanoes. Yeah, we got plenty of volcanoes. All right. Oh, what else are we doing? Stop it. Oh, so that research finished. That means we have our solid filters and our thermo sensor right here. Uh, do let me make sure I did separate the rails. I better go rail first. There we go. Automation into here. The one that cools it down to methane. Yeah. I know what you mean by a sour gas boiler. Which is typically done with super coolant. Oh, uh, yeah, because you do... What do you have to cool it down to? So, we're gas. Turns into method of 165. When does ethanol freeze? Minus 114. I'm trying to think in my head how I would do it. An AETN? That would be a very, very inefficient um, sour gas boiler. Pre-chill it with ethanol, then just have the hydrogen finish it off. So that way you're not relying as much on the... Um, the AETN, or just use thermoregulators. Yeah. I'm up for that. I mean, that's kind of hot. I like it. All right, let's put some power on this subject. Power! Heavy walk conductive wire. Thank you. Now, Oh, you need power too, because of course you do. I will have it come out of this line right now. But maybe we switch that later. Oh, that one there is really far away. It's okay, that's why we've got it for all that beautiful lead. Roll that beautiful lead footage. All right. Uh, you can get there. You can get there. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, Echoes. For the non-pros, what is AETN? Anti-entropy thermal nullifier. It's the thing that came in here, but we destroyed it. We have another one over here somewhere. Yeah, right here. Any gas, if you put hydrogen gas into it, it cools the surrounding area. So, like, if it's sitting in, like, oxygen, it'll cool the oxygen. What people end up normally doing is putting pipes across it or um, gas pipes or something like that. But it requires hydrogen. Sweet. Sweet googly boogly. Oh, no, I, I still need to drop off. This rail is not coming out anymore. Destroy that. That means you are coming and going right here. You are going to sit like a good boy. Now I need to filter. Ugh. Where is my liquids coming out? Oh, right here. This is actually a decent spot, right? Liquid filter. Where's my plumbing? Oh, I am not smart today. So go like this, in through here. Oh. 
Why do you gotta make it so sloppy? I don't need a metal tile now. Because all these materials are gonna be cool anyways. So I can just drop them out like it's hot. Liquid vent right here. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Stroopopples. Yes. Beautiful. I have found that the ATN does not. It's not as a. It doesn't. It can keep cooling, but you will never get it down that low, depending on what you're putting through it. Not even very much depending, because it's... it's overall cooling performance is not phenomenal. Oh, so, there we go. Cocky chick. You can go to Kroger and get some Stroopwafels, I'm sure. They have the European section. There we go. So now this will say if it is sulfur, liquid sulfur, you can come out. Then eventually we'll put the pump out here. Nope, not there, right here. But yeah, it would be... I want to go to places like that, too. Prediction! Listen for the sound. Because the rares make the prettier sound. Uh. Nope. Basic purple gloves. I knew it didn't sound good. Fresh made from a Stroopwafel stand? There are Stroopwafel stands? Stroopwafel stands? Clothes, drywall, and other. We got up to, what, 50, 74, 75,000? And it was clothes. I think those are at least new clothes. I can't wait till we get more of the supply closet, because then we're going to have our, our dress onesing, our duplicate dressing thing. Uh, purple gloves. At least they're new. And then this. Deconstruct. Deconstruct. We have spent so many materials. So many. Did I still end up building these out of steel? No. Okay. Those are set and ready to receive. Now, you are going to get metered. Liquid meter valve. Like this. I'm going to keep it nice and hot. That way it doesn't flash into the pipes before we hit the liquid meter valve. And then it's just going to go right on. Right around, baby. Because I, I cannot have it stick. Because then it will combine. If you know what I mean. Like, it has to stay as a one kilo packet. Which means there is a potential for it to do that. How do I do this then? Okay, I have to bridge this on here because otherwise it would stop and pause it's joining 50 50 and if it did that the one kilo packet would combine with a two and then the two kilo packet would end up cracking the pipes down here i think unless i'm just being absolutely stupid and i should just make a separate system and i always do this i make these little combining systems why is the power down? Uh-oh. We've lost all the power out of here. We're using too much? 
I don't understand. Oh, hold on. Hold. Nah, there it is. Yep, yeah, fader has got it. Thank you, Jarifa, for the forward. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. Naz says you can also get the Stroop Waffles at Whole Foods. What happens if two sulfur packets get stuck behind a water cooling down? That's also going to combine them. Great point. I don't think the water is going to have to cool down because this, or stop. But you're right. That is the one instance that's just going to do it. Baba Strofen with the first Homer Doe that was brilliantly said or brilliantly timed. Marky with that great point. It's got to be its own line. Hence the reason... We were talking about making it a metal tile and cooling it that way because we don't have enough room down here for another. Hold on. What if this, I got it. Ha! <laughs> This is going to be a liquid pipe element sensor. If it detects... If it... Because the sulfur is going to be one, one kilo. It's definitely going to be cooled by then. If this detects sulfur at any time, it just flips it green and lets it pass. Let's everything pass. This is why I make the very mediocre bucks for being a professional gamer, okay? This is why. This is the best idea I've had in a week. Oh, wow. This is good. Liquid pipe. Uh, no, you're not a thermo. I need a liquid pipe element sensor. And then I go ahead and do that. <laughs> liquid pipe element sensor. Thank you. The metal tile is still out of reach. We'll get it. Zimmy99 says, for years, Echo has been training for this very moment. <laughs> Ooh, liquid sulfur. Just pass it and leave it. And I'll pull up quick to retrieve it. What? What did you just say? No, Echo. Below 25, turn green. Oh, this is still sitting here too at 44 degrees. If it is below 25, you can go. And you need a little, little help right there. And now I need to fill these. Ugh. Got it. Right here. Little bottle emptier action. Never hurt anybody. Has the power. I have the power! Uh, how am I going to get in there? Oh, this is awkward. This will be fine. Crude oil, enable, go. Add a filter gate too? I already have a filter gate way down here. Cause it's just checking. Uh, all the sulfur gets dumped out here. All the water gets thrown down here. 
Oh, a filter gate? I was thinking you were meant to filter. Um, why? Because as soon as it hits that packet, it's going to turn green. And as long as... So, in the filter means it's going to just keep sending green because there's going to be more and more packets on it. Because it will move one for one, which means the packet behind it shouldn't get an opportunity to join. That's This is the theory, right? We're theory crafting. Who knows what goes horribly, horribly, horribly wrong. All good plans. Your plans will only last until first contact. True story. to stay open longer we'll see if that that may be a, a case maybe like even a five second all right oh just need some automation which means this one needs automation this one we're gonna we're gonna bring it down to 15 degrees oh absolutely 15 degrees Overheat damage. Oh, I didn't make the this out of steel. Oops. Oh, and that's not going to work right there anyways. <laughs> Oops. Liquid meter valve. Oh, no. Yeah, I don't. We got to steer clear of the automation. Never mind. Boop, boop. That looks good. I made it out of lead again. He can't be taught. He can't be taught. How are you planning on getting the liquid where the shutoffs are? Uh, they are already here. Right? Come down through here. They jump through. They go all the way down here. And then they come out. And we have them flipped. We have the rail going one direction. And then the plug going the other direction. So it's sort of, sort of counterflowed. In a sauna, does it matter what metal you make the automation wires out of? No. I tend to use steel for every metal item inside my sauna. But as you might guess, it takes a lot of steel. Yeah, no, not even close. Anytime you're unsure... Just click on it and go to properties and check to see its melting point. Now, when you're rocking right around here, you could get some flashy points, but not typically. Oh, am I going to have to move this over? I think I am. By evidence of this little piece of cobalt right there. Which makes this super duper ugly. Uh, auto super can go bye bye. There we go. Add more oil. Oh, we've got the slow. It. Mini Soul is doing it. Hey, get those steps in, Mini Soul. Get those steps in. Let me also do something like this so the oil stays right there. Beautiful. Thank you. And another run of cobalt. So far, so good. I'm also going to have to add like a regular pump down here just for a little bit. just to be able to siphon all the liquid cipher sulfur off the floor. 
Where are you? You evil, evil button. Okay, yeah, you're in there. All right, I'm gonna go times 10. I'm gonna times 10 it. I'm getting tired of waiting on dupes. 26 duplicates, and we're still having labor issues. That's why I'm looking forward to building that next spawn, because then this bomb will also be able to charge these suits, and that will definitely help. I don't know where these suits would be sitting and hanging around, but I have a feeling something's going weird with the suits. Or did we never make enough suits? No, we've had two full suit banks. I tell you what. Does this check? Yeah, it only checks outside. It only counts spare Atmos suits, not ones that dupes are in. Hmm. I get it's because we're using a lot of dupe labor right now, but cry me a river, right? And I don't ever see duplicates coming in here. Which makes me think we don't have enough suits. All right, let's go count suits. Koganat! I appreciate you. Welcome in. Thanks for the fall. Don't forget, active use requires one full pipe of oxygen per five suits. I know, but I'm wondering, like, see how all these are filled? That makes me think they haven't had suits in a while. So we're going to pause it. Nope. One suit. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, I guess in the ten, because in the tube they are, they are wearing their suits. It just doesn't look like it. Ten suits are out. And they're all from this dock, basically. So I need to undock these, a couple of these suits. There we go. Now they'll have suits to bring up there. And I also want to get my one repairable suit. Make it, better make it two repairable suits. That will help our duplicate labor now. All right, so I think we're good. Ooh, look at this, how pretty. Mm. 20 degree cobalt. I'm gonna scoop all this up real quick so we can see what's sitting here. Now let's seal this in. Oh, wow. Don't know what we just used. Mafic rock. Oh, this is not set. Limit one kilo. Now you need power because you are a thirsty boy. Just take a look at Weight this. plate under the sulfur? For what? It's not just sulfur sitting there, it's also cobalt. So it wouldn't really tell us anything. All right, now why? Oh, there's our first pack. Oh, wait a minute. This is a meter valve. So I sup I don't want that. I want a liquid valve. I could just, if you ever wanted to do this, you just tie this in right here and it goes dink, 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 but it's not the best way to do it. It also means we don't need power, I believe. 
Because this is a manual. It's manual! Metering valve means it can actually... Whoa, no! No! One... Come on, stop it! Overheat damage. Get your stuff together. All right, what we're going to do is I'm going to split this off right here. And then some plumber is going to come and pick all this up. Nope, 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 nope. You're yesing too hard. Now, for the love of Pete, Echo, remember that you're in a sauna. Here we go. That will go in there, this will go in there, and then this will come out. Okay, now we're good. Then I can just empty these. Bloop. We good? Nope. One thousand. But we don't need power. Flow rate, one kilo per second. Fingers crossed. Prediction. Start a prediction. You ready, chat? Will the sulfur transfer work without error? Yes, no. You got 30 seconds to get your prediction in. Earn some extra echoes. 30 seconds. Take your biggest guess. Define error. Uh, we break the pipes. Do we flash? Do we flash sulfur in the pipes? Big betting going on. Really quick. It's like a horse race. 42,000 are going in. Uh, apparently there's an auto sweep. Oh, this one right here. Yep. I'm also going to go down like this because I am going to go through the process of actually moving this. But it is a double negative. Will the sulf sulfur transfer work without error? With, uh, without error. Yes. So yes is the positive answer. Hmm. Creeper says, Echo, you like the charity, right? Yeah. I do like to give charity. I think it's important. Uh, let me just do a quick connect here. Right here. Buy me Ani? Come on, Creeper. That's not charity. Alright. So far, so good. Why won't you come do this? Do this. Alright, I'm done waiting. We're just going to deconstruct it. <laughs> De deconstruct it. All right, so there's 42,000, 42,000 echoes up on the, the transfer. That's hilarious. But look at this. Because we have the back-to-back -back aqua tuners. Oh, of course we do. Oh, I forgot again. Echo, what's wrong with you? <sighs> Plumbing. <laughs> I mean, look at how flawlessly this works. What can I say except you're welcome? <laughs> Alright, there's the one. That's all we needed, right? Overheat damage? What's overheating? Uh, 
Oh, uh, okay, because the oil was so hot because it was sitting for too long, but nothing really... It got a little damaged. So let me get up in there and fix that before we connect the thing. Uh, yeah, this still needs one plum. There we go. Did I do this backwards? Why do I have extra oil in the pipes? No, that's definitely not right. Amy! No, it's I've always gone out to the bridge. I've always gone out to the bridge. I don't like this oil sitting here. That's probably why I always do this instead. That way the output always goes out. All right, I'm not doing that alternate bridge again. It is none of the buenos. Yeah, I don't like it. It makes me, it makes me have funny feelings. And I don't like the funny feelings. The space after causes that more? No, because this, the reason why the space after doesn't, it's because this bridge can only output when this is empty, so you don't get that problem. See, that's much cleaner. Why are you taking so long to do all the things with 26 dupes in a colony that is not very old? Work faster! There we go. Whoop. Nope. Here we go. Now I need one plum. Come on, plumber. You have enough of them. No, 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 no. Mental note. Never do that again. What are you doing? Oh, you're cooking that thing up. Okay, that's fine. All right, that one looks like it's running fine, but that one... Okay, there we go. That should be good. All right, here we go. This also needs power. Whoop. Oh, I didn't need to do that. There we go. I guess I was going to put sand in this, but it doesn't really make sense. Because the sand is all sitting here, but I guess having sand here... They'll load it from other places, too. I also need to turn this for... That plumber is not still plumbing. Tell me no. Okay. Whew. Nice and chilly. These also need to be all on four. This needs to be on a one, so the dupes don't load it. Seven point five tons of steel. 
despite everything we've spent um everything we spent when does sulfur flash again One fifteen. Okay, and it's never gonna get below one twenty-five in here, so we're okay. Surface breach. What do you mean surface breach? Oh, we're going to fix all this. How did we get a surface breach by repairing it, but not a surface breach by building it? That's funny. All right, now let's check it. One kilo. And why isn't this dumping out yet? Disabled by automation grid. If it's above 20 kilos. Oh, it needs to say below. Send a green signal. Okay, good. Now we'll get to see it an action when it turns on. What do you mean pipe blo- Okay, I have it separate there. I want water flowing. But it's going to be a minute, so we'll just let it run. Here we go! <sighs> One kilo packets. For those of you wondering why this worked, one kilo packets will not flash. How did I build the automation through the geyser? Uh, where? Oh my goodness. That must just be like a little buggy bug. Like a visual bug? I don't know. A drink from Draco. Thank you, Draco. Cheers to you. And this will still bypass. So even if we're trying to empty and it can't, it'll go around the other way. All right, here it goes. It enters. The, lo the liquid sulfur is already at 50 degrees. Oh, yeah, this is so beyond... Sulfur, turn green. Wee! Just go ahead and let them pass. It's sulfur. Don't worry about it. Let them pass. Keep coming, sulfur. You need a bridge after the sulfur geyser. I need a bridge after the sulfur geyser. Why? Oh, you're saying here? I don't think you can bridge past neutronium either. For the pump? I don't understand why. And then here's our sulfur. You need a bridge after the sulfur, guys. I don't think I do. Sulfur geyser, bridge. Yeah, see, the water just sits here and waits for the sulfur. Sulfur! Yep, sulfur gets to pass. This is a clean system. I love when they turn out this way. Does anybody have a use case condition that is going to cause this to break so we can evaluate whether or not we were right or wrong about our, uh, our predictions? Bueller, Bueller. If the pipe backs up, which pipe? Because this pipe is backed up, but this sulfur has uh, has priority. And as soon as sulfur hits this tile, everything gets cleared out. Oh, this water, yeah, it overflows into back into the sauna. 
How long will it take to empty out all that liquid sulfur at that rate? Too long? One kilo per second? So this one tile is an entire... Well, not too long. This is one cycle right here. This one tile is about one and a, one and a third cycles. Or one cycle in a little bit. 70 cycles? 70 cycles without this erupting. There may be an edge case where the sulfur and water blobs alternate and trip up the sensors. Yes, Brian, Matt, but um, if they do alternate, the sulfur will not combine with another salt sulfur. Because that's the only thing that would cause the sulfur to break the pipes, is if it combined into two kilos. Since sulfur average is over one kilo per second, it will ever catch up? Um, yes, because probably the next dormancy, no, because the activity cycle will still allow this to pump. This will just take, let's say 75 cycles of uninterrupted pumping. So it'll probably take 150 cycles or something. Brian does bring up the good point, but super speed does play some funky things. That is a very good point. That is a very good point. Automation, and the faster you go with automation, it can get bad. But right now, this is clean. It also means we're not going to be taking out water for 70-something cycles because the sulfur has priority. Which is okay, as long as we can hold under 60 kilos. Or under 150 kilos, rather. Stress level. Oh, boy. It's ring. Oh, it's because the allergies are that upsetting to you? Plus 15% per cycle? Oh, do we have a doctor? Do we have a doctor? I live. You need to get some research on. Live. Gonna do the researching. Mini souls doing the researchings. Shallow pie. What was shallow pie good at? Why don't they have a hat yet? Are we that behind on this? Oh, mechatronics engineering for shallow pie. We'll give them... Oh, we can't. I wasted it already. We can give them the extra boost to running for the athletics. Priorities. Yell at me, chat, if I don't set priorities and stuff. Jari is a pick em up and set em down dupe. Very nice. And I think we got everybody else. First non-sulfur that hits the automation will trap the sulfur right in front of it, won't it? Ooh. No. Uh, because that's a good point. That's a very, that's an edge case that I, we can take a look at. If this was a, an and, it could. But the fact that sulfur is still going to be below 25, so this one's going to turn green and still let it pass. So when it goes sulfur, 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 water, this is going to send out a red signal. But remember, green signals over, overwrite red. Oh, we, uh-oh, we got a full-fledged meltdown. We have a full-fledged meltdown. Hold on. Because of allergies. Really? Like, who does that? Where are you, Ringstrom? Oh, you're binge eating. Don't eat all of our muck roots. Oh, that's a bad ring. Ooh, we'll just replace it with spicy tofu. <laughs> Yay! How'd they level up by eating? And now back to eating. 
Not the muck roots. Ring strum, ring strum. They'll automatically get the errand as soon as they ever decide to build the, the tiles. See, look at all these nice pipes. I guess they're not doing anything now. Why aren't you picking up the plastic? Do we not have plastic? Nope. <laughs> Dravy says, I level up by eating. I'm very proficient at it. Boot hat Lily with a pandiculate. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. All right, now we have the just-in-case massage, massage table, which they should be getting the queue to. Yeah, break starts at 50. Why didn't they get queued up? Ring, 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 ring. There they are. Go get your massage. Uh, we'll make a medicine thing next time. I like this, but how do I show that? Where's the pics? This has to be the picture. It's just so hard because there's so much white and you and it's hard to put text over white. It gets very not good contrasty. I don't know. If we do not play as one of the duplicates, then what do we play as? The printing pod? Yes. Spoiler alert. We are the printing pod. Oh, the sulfur prediction. Will the sulfur transfer work without error? I'm choosing the outcome? Yes. Will it work without error? Yes, it will work without error. <laughs> yeah, that double negative was harsh. Um, why aren't these on? Oh, the steam, uh, it's lower temps over here. Yeah, we need to get the steam pressure lower for the simple reason of, oh, that's another point. This is going to overflow into here, which is fine. So this pump will pick it up when this thing starts erupting. It's going to take a while. But it's okay. It's okay. All right. Can everybody get ready to say cheese? Remember, we say our favorite type of cheese or an interesting blend of cheese you've recently had um, whenever we take the screenshot for the thumbnail. So stand by. Kutai says, Echo should stack turbines. No, 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 no. And three, two, one, cheddar! Yes! Oh, canned cheddar. Even better, Coach Man. Mm. Going straight to my thighs. Let's get a good save. And then, because I always forget, let's save again. Oh, chat, you've been wonderful today. You've been absolutely wonderful. Velveeta and tomato syrup. Ketchup and Velveeta? What are you doing, Zoldan? Leave the tomato syrup out of this. Ew. The output, average output's above one kilo per second? Says Silco. If that is the case, then yes, that is a problem. There's no way it's above, right? We're gonna have to, we'd have to pump it out. Ah, oh, Silco says it is. Let me double check. Because now, if it is, I'm gonna start thinking of a solution. It's gonna the the only solution is to send it through a separate debris chiller or expand the debris chiller we have so it could have 
two pipes of sulfur going through it. Oh, what a pain that took us. In cycle 10,000, we don't have a sauna. We have a sulfur tank. Gilded Squid thinks it was 1,600 um, grams. Ah, uh, it's 1.6 kilos. Uh, well, looks like we're adding another debris chiller up here. Oy vey. That big, beautiful system, and it won't even get us up to snuff. Good catch. Boot Hat Lily, thank you for the 50 bits. I, for some reason, I missed the, uh, I missed the yay. Does that mean, did you do that when we were doing cheese? Hold on, screenshot. Yep. That must have been what happened because I don't have Twitch alerts enabled in there. Give me one second. I got to fix that now before I forget. Sound alerts. Screenshot. We can at least play some music. Boop. And now we just need some Twitch alerts. Almost there, chat. Good catch. Boot Hat Lily, thank you again for the 50 bits and finding a problem in the stream. Just add another row on the bottom. Yeah, we could. But that'll ruin the way we have to walk through there, though. Did I not copy that? Come on! Oh, there it is. Paste reference. All right, now we're good. Honest, this time. <laughs> Yay, Lily broke the stream. <laughs> Second row will take care of it in the ex in the existing chiller. Yeah. Mad Cow says, am I late? Just a smidge. Why can't dupes crawl? I, exactly. I'm pretty sure there's been a short where the dupes have crawled. Make them be able to crawl. Auto with a 100 bits. Thank you so much. Says, enjoy the vacay. I am very much looking forward to it. Just like I'm very much looking forward to eating. I am hungry. I am hungry. Oh, let's see who's online today. There aren't any chickens. You watch shows, it's text to the screen. I don't know if you care about that. You watch shows. Oh, text to the screen. Yeah, I do kind of care about that. Is it easily visible? That's probably a fair point. I wear it that way. If I get a notification, I can look at it without picking up the phone and I can feel the vibrate because my phone's on silent. DJ empirical just wanted to drop a quick message to say someone in my chat recommended you for Ani stuff. So I've been ripping through your YouTube videos. Thanks. Thank you very much. Empirical first time chatter. Welcome. Zimmy, thank you. Appreciate you. Zolan says, by the way, Echo, what did you think when you looked at Idol Champions on Steam? I was actually surprised by it. Um, I thought it was going to be a little bit more... You know about the old school Idol games? Like, they were web-paced. There were a lot of text. This looks like a fully-fledged, like, graphical and all that sort of stuff. So I was, I was kind of impressed by it. I'm adding it to the list. You know how that goes. Yeah, I think we're going to go say hi to... Yeah, we're going to go watch some Enshrouded. 
I'm going to put the rate up. The credits were last updated, I think, on Tuesday. So if you're a recent sub, you won't see it again until I edit another video. All right, the rate is up. Everybody get in there. Go show some love to Who Knows Yo, playing some Enshrouded. I appreciate everybody coming out. I'm looking forward to my vacation, but believe it or not, I will miss streaming. I'm not going to miss editing. I need the vacation from editing, but I will miss hanging out with all of you. I hope all of you have an amazing week and a great time, and I look forward to seeing you back here on... I think I'm doing a makeup stream on Saturday. So, uh, yeah, until next time, much love, happy gaming, and I'll talk to you soon.